if you guys remember, a long time ago when I first started posting blocks for its videos, I did a bunch of awakenings. But shortly after awakening every single fruit, I went straight to mastering every single sword in the game. So I thought it would be cool to put every single video all into one about me mastering every sword. So sit back, kick your feet up, and enjoy this video and take a look at all the memories we had together. But that's enough chit chat, let's get right into it. Alright guys, in today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little different. We're gonna be getting a pull. Yo, 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 what are you talking about? A pull. I need a pull. Why do you need a pull for? Um, what is it to you? I'm about to show you my pull. Dude, that is not what I was talking about. Put away your pull. We don't need to see that. I didn't even show you my pull yet. Yet? Yeah, it's in my inventory, bro. Okay, I don't want to see your pull. Get on my boat. Yo, that's kind of sus. Why do you want me to get on your boat, buddy? Just get on my boat and tell me where to go. We need to go ahead and get this pull. Do you like the view? I don't like the view. Get that thing out of my face, bro. You know what? How about you take some of my fists, bro? Hey, take hey, that. hey. So before Rexway tries shoving his pole in my face, the reason why we're getting this pole is because if you guys remember, we awakened the rumble fruit. And actually, we missed a very big part. A lot of you guys kept commenting, you forgot the rumble pole. You forgot the pole. So that's what we're going to do. We're basically going to awaken a pole. Rexway's going to show me how to do it because he already has a pole. And apparently, I don't have a pull. Yeah, you don't have one. And I do, buddy. Come to this boss right here and beat him up. I'll show you my pull right now. Yeah, where is it, huh? Here, come here. I'll whip it out for you. Yo, stop. I never said anything like that. So we have to kill this boss and get the pull from him. Stop magma all over me, buddy. Ally me. We got some angel wings, but we didn't get the pull yet. We'll go ahead and fast forward to where we get the pull. Rexway, if you keep talking about pulls, I'm going to give you my pull. Bro, stop. I haven't even said pull yet. And you did. You just love talking about pulls don't you bro shut up i think you're the one that loves it more than anyone here yeah right here take my magma all right forget this we're just gonna go ahead and fast forward to when i get it from this boss and there we go we got the pulse first form where is this pull let's go ahead and uh oh it's right there it's right in front of our faces as you can see my pull is nice and long unlike rectway short little stubby pull bro what do you mean this is a second form of that Stop trying to talk about my pole. Your pole will never be as cool as mine just a heads up oh yeah is your ability long as this yeah, mine's actually longer. Way longer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, buddy. Keep on dreaming. So since we have our giant long pull now, we're gonna go to the third seat, get it mastered up so we can use its abilities and see what it looks like before we awaken it. All right, guys, so we're back into the third seat. We're at Mansion right now, and I gotta go ahead and switch to Buddha because I gotta level up this sword. So we're gonna go ahead and switch our fruit back to Buddha. Thanks to Sugarway, I still have permanent Buddha. Sugarway, since we're here, and since you always give me all the good stuff, I'm gonna have to go ahead and give you a... Mm, whoa, I mean... Hey, uh, yo, yo, stop. What, what are you trying to do there, buddy? What are you talking about? I'm trying to give you a fruit. What do you think was going on? Dude, you were trying to kiss me, dude. Nah, Chill. You're, you're tripping, bro. You're tripping. Here, anyways, I got you the best fruit in the game. Are you excited for it? Let me guess. It's a stupid little kilo fruit, isn't it? No. It's even better. It's the God Bomb fruit. This is actually garbage, bro. What? Bro, don't disrespect the God Bomb fruit. Man, really? Give me garbage stuff. Go freaking equip your dumb little Buddha fruit. I already did, Bozo. Let's go ahead and say hello to your bestest friend. Do you know who your best friend is? Your mom. It's Ligma. Ligma ball all right ligma it's time to meet your end i'm gonna go ahead and shift into my buddha form and go ahead and clap his cheeks with this pull okay we're just gonna fast forward to where i clap his cheeks and there we go we just killed ligma so we got a lot of mastery i'm actually curious to see how much mastery do we get on our pull that sounds a little sus hold up hold up hold up so 137 mastery that is pretty solid we've unlocked the first ability but i'm gonna wait to show you guys until i hit mastery 180 so i can show you both at the same time the next enemy we have to kill is rectway sugar mama why are you trying to kill her for i'm sorry i have to get my mastery she's got to give me some lessons dude what whoa whoa what's wrong with that she's trying to give me lessons right now stop trying to budge in sorry bro there we go we just killed rectway sugar mama she gave me the best lessons ever rectway i have to tell you man can you just shut up already are you jealous no one even asked for your opinion somebody's jealous why would i be jealous of you because you're jealous of my big old pole my pole is way better and it's sharper than yours might be sharper but it's definitely short and stubbier no it's not all right rectway are you ready to meet my pole no and please stop talking about your pole for like the 50th time, buddy. Okay, well, you can get a taste of my pole. So this is the oh X my. ability. It just does a little lightning. It does a little bit of damage. 
The little cloud for 2.3k damage. We're supposed to use this with the rumble fruit, actually. That's what it deals with most damage and, like, looks cooler and it works with the fruit and stuff. So 4.7k damage is actually not too bad for two abilities combined. If we combine this with the rumble fruit, I'm gonna have Rexway's cheeks quivering and clapping. I'm gonna clap you right here, buddy. Bro, chill! I'll get in the hole right there. No, I'm not getting in your hole, bro. Leave me alone. All right, guys. So now that we have the pull, we have to go ahead and start up another rumble raid to awaken it. So let's go ahead and talk to the scientist. And uh, I think it's under normal. We're gonna go ahead and try to find the rumble raid here. There it is, rumble. So we can buy it for 100k every two hours. So let's go ahead and buy it. And we're gonna go ahead and start it up. Rexway, right, so make sure you're standing on that pad, bro. I am, buddy. Come on. I can see your toes off of it. Bro, why? How can you see my toes from this far away? Because you got some nice grippers. Yo, what? And here we are. Oh, so Rexway thinks he can become a Buddha now, huh? Dude, stop trying to copy me. This whole entire video, you're trying to copy me. Nah, you're jacking my style, bro. You're copying me. Nah, you're tripping. You're jacking my swag. Can you just shut up already and just leave? Okay, I'll leave once you're done taking this pull, bro. Oh my god. What is that supposed to mean? Um... So, this raid is going crazy. You didn't even answer my question. Yeah, so this raid is going crazy, bro. Like, I, this raid's actually so insane. My guy, don't ever talk to me. All right, so now we're going to the third island already. This is so easy. Yeah, I wonder who's caring right now. Can your Buddha go invisible like me? I'm more cooler, bro. Look at me, bro. What? Nah, get out of here, bro. You don't even have invisible hacks. I mean, what? Hacks? Wait a minute. Dude, um, yeah, I'm not using, I'm not hacking. And we're already going to the fourth island, bro. This is so easy. It's almost as easy as your mom, Rectway. Dude, your mom was so easy. She wanted, like, another rematch. Shut up, dude. No, no, you're making this up. Shut up. Why would I be making that up? Go Shut up, up la, 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 la. I don't want to hear it anymore. And now we go to the final boss island. Oh, Rectway, you're heated, bro. Look at this. You never saw this in a raid. What? Oh, yeah. I'm a Buddha. What's up, bro? I can make these NPCs kneel to me. Come here, boss guy. Kneel to me. Everybody kneels down to me. I'm about to make your mom kneel, bro. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? My pull didn't evolve. It turns out Rexway didn't inform me I had to have Rumble equipped while we were doing this. No, no, no. I'm about to snap my finger and you're about to have pull V2. You can't do that. I just did. Wait, what? How did I teleport here? I teleported you there. How did you do this? With my admin powers. Okay, bro. Shut up. Thunder God, shop. I can shop with this guy? Would you like me to teach you the second pull form? 5,000 frags. Luckily for me, Sugar Way gave me 16,000 frags in my last video. So let's go ahead and use those. Thank you, Sugar Way. Oh my God. Shut up, dude. Now look at our items. We have pull second form. We equip it and now we lose our abilities and they transform their names and we're back to mastery one we have to go ahead and unlock these and see how good it looks so now that we have to go ahead and kill ligma like usual in order to level up our pull and there we go we just mastered up our pull let's go ahead and see how many levels we get on it and we got 136 levels we're so close to unlocking the first ability which is called the hand of god at mastery 150 we're gonna go ahead and continue to farm a little bit and then uh see what the abilities look like on the second pull awaken so we also kill the k queen we're already at mastery 100 177. So we finally got Mastery 353 with the second Awakened version of Pull. So now we have the Hand of God and Electric Prison ability. So we're gonna go ahead and test it on Rectway. It's called Hand of God. It's the first Z ability. And it does 3k damage. Not bad. And the next one is called Electric Prison. So we never use this one. Oh my gosh! Wait, a sword dealing 8k damage nearly? Hold on, that was one ability that dealt nearly 8,000 damage. That is crazy, and the Z ability's already back up, so we can spam the Z ability, no problem. But now he's running away, because that was scary damage. Oh no, he's gonna try to attack me. Oh my gosh. We also have the rumble fruit, so I could go ahead and, you know, just drop my giant balls on him if he really wants it. Come here, Rexway. Basically, the, uh, the pull is pretty sick. You could probably do some combos with this. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think you could move as soon as the electric prison hits you. That's why it's called electric prison. Yeah, so it just stopped him for a second there. And you guys can continue doing this as long as you hold it, I believe. So, this is pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Where did he teleport to? Bro, ran away to the graveyard. Oh my gosh. Wait, he awakened. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Right now, I don't have my stats set on blocks fruit, but if you use the rumble Rumble fruit to combo people with this trident, it will be crazy damage, I bet. So right now, I'm probably not going to deal much damage just because I don't have points on blocks fruit, but there is so much you could do with this. I could continue trapping him, and since the pull has another trap ability, I could just continue listly trap him here if i had points on block shirt that would 100 percent one shot him but as you guys can see that's why i should have continued awakening this pull but if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more awakenings and other stuff go ahead and check my other videos and make sure to leave a like and subscribe peace 
So you guys are probably wondering, what are we doing in today's video? It's actually quite simple. What we're gonna go ahead and do is take out our Dark Blade and go ahead and get our Triple Yoru. Just kidding. We're not getting Triple Yoru's in today's video. Unfortunately, I have to be gifted that by the devs and admins pretty much. In today's video, we're actually gonna go ahead and get Dark Blade V2. So right now we're in the third C, but we actually have to go ahead and go back to the first C. So now we have to go ahead and take the long ride home. But luckily for me, I actually have portal fruit, so all I have to do is go to port and go talk to the guy over here. This guy will take us back to the second sea and eventually the first sea. So now we're in the first sea, and you guys are probably wondering, what happened to Milky Way, aka Rectway? Well, Rectway's internet is pretty dog water. You know, he was camping it out at McDonald's and his McDonald's Wi-Fi failed. So now he's moving his setup to Burger King and now he's gonna mooch off free Burger King Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and continue with this quest line. What we have to do is go into this building over here, I believe. There's a note on the floor. I don't think this is important, right? now but we have to talk to this like chocolate wafer guy wait no that's a chocolate wait that's a chocolate strawberry vanilla ice cream sandwich hold up you gotta talk to this guy that has like a bunch of delicious snacks on his head what do you need bro respect me well what is, what is this conversation what is this what's going on omg I'm, i sure respect you well bro what i'm so confused on this quest line but apparently you have to talk to this guy to get the dark blade v2 or the euro v2 so let's go ahead and continue he says we earned my respect for reaching level 350 can you help me with the quest sure have you seen my son indra wait i have to go find this guy's kid and his name's indra so we have to go ahead and find indra and if you guys don't know where he's at well we're gonna go ahead and try to find him if i'm not mistaken he might be at ice village luckily for me i am using the portal for and I think we have to go ahead and find Ice Village somewhere here. Um, might be blind. Oh, it's actually labeled as Snow, I think. Yep, okay, so you teleport to Snow, or Frozen Village is the actual name. All right, now we go over here, and we have to find his son, Indra, somewhere on this island. I'm not 100% sure where he's at. Is he like this homeless guy in here? No, that's a sick man. That's not Indra. Okay, that's the sword dealer of the East. Indra should be somewhere around here. We have to find him. There's a doghouse. Wait. Why is a dog house named Indra? Wait, is Indra a dog? This doesn't make any sense. Bro, can I have 97 Robux? Does a quest fail if I pick the wrong one? I don't even know which one's the right one. I don't know if we have to go through all these options, but I'm just gonna give him the 97 Robux. Mentality of a child. I scammed you like a noob. Bro, what? Mentality of what child? You're welcome for those Robux. You could go ahead and thank Sugarway for those Robux, because those didn't come from me. What about this one? I hate you, but if you say no, it's okay. Bro, I can't even read this. I'm losing brain cells reading this. You know what? I'm not giving you anything. Give it well. What? What is... I'm so confused. Never mind, bye. What? Bro, why is this so much harder than the rest of the quest? I don't even know what the quest is at this point. Is it just like a conversation quest? Okay, maybe I'll get this right. Give nothing. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I messed up. I, I did that option. Say me why. Re-say. Say me why. Give nothing? Give good? I think I, I beat this quest line thingy. Now I have to go to another part of the island. Sun quest. Now I have to find like his son or something, bro. Why was this so difficult? So after speaking to that doghouse thingy that's supposed to be Indra, I had to figure out what he was talking about. And luckily for me, I figured out there was like a hidden area somewhere here. You have to find like a hidden door and go through it or something like that. We kind of have to, you know, look around the ice village and hopefully find it. It blends in with like the atmosphere. It's kind of weird. You kind of have to like find a door hidden. Is that it right here? No, that is not a door. There's a door somewhere around here. It might be like, oh, oh, okay. Here's a door. I think we have to break through this door. There we go. We break through this door and there's a letter right here. Interact with it. Okay. It's, it's a letter. Yo, bro. When I see my game 43, forget unban me. What? Dude, the English is hurting my brain. I'm just going to respond with LOL. Love letter. Hold up. Hold up. That dog house is writing love letters? Okay, I have to get out of here. Okay. Now we get out of here. Guys, I'm starting to second guess myself. Is it really worth getting Dark Blade V2? From what I heard, it's really cool and you can upgrade and make it look visually more appealing. But you can also go to Dark Blade V3 if you do Dark Blade V2. So I guess we will do it. Also, if you guys think this video is way more entertaining than my other ones, you'd be surprised because Funky is actually editing this video right now. <laughs> Who's a good dog, huh? Who's a good boy? You're such a good boy. Thanks for introducing yourself, Funky. Anyways, now we have to go to Sky Island. So now we have to go ahead and go to the portal, and I think that's where the next letter is. We're supposed to find multiple letters scattered throughout the game. So we go ahead and click Sky here. It should take us in this building here. Also, if you guys didn't know this little Easter egg, if you type this code in on the little Twitter code, it gives you like $10. All right, I think it's like a dollar in game. It's not even worth it, but that's a little cool Easter egg if you guys didn't know. Let's go ahead and uh, open this door here. I think the love letter number two should be in here. 
and it is. Now we talk to this love letter. OMG, friend me in Discord again, please, bro. I'll respect you from now on. OMG, you have all my respect for defeating my enemies and sons. Sad face. LOL. Why do I have to respond to LOL with everything? This is so weird. So with that being done, now we have to find the third love letter, I guess. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the Dark Blade before we get it to V2. I want to go take a look at its ability. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Z ability. It's called the 1000 Slices, and it does this little effect. That's cool, I guess, but it should look different when we awaken it to V2. And there's also the Dark Slash, which is the X ability. It just looks like a normal slash, I guess. I heard it's going to be a lot crazier for V2, and it's going to be a lot more better looking. Also, if you guys are enjoying it so far, go ahead and leave a like and sub. That will tell me if you guys want to see a V3 Dark Blade or Yoru. But for now, let's go ahead and go to the third part of the quest. Third part of the quest is, I believe, at Marine Fortress. Now we have to go here and actually go to the back of Marine Fortress. There's a door somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Okay, now we have to open this and it should... Bro, why is there a heart here? Valentine's Day was yesterday. I'm so confused on why I'm going to the love tunnel right now. This is weird. And we have to use our Z ability to open all these doors. And like, it's like a giant maze or something like that. We have to go ahead and just keep searching through here. And I think we find a letter somewhere in between here. I think we're somewhere close to it now. We've been breaking like every single door. I think this is the last door. So that means this has to be it. Let's go ahead and slash this door down. And would you look at that? The last letter is finally here. Now we have to go ahead and talk to this. OMG, you know well I hate Wenlock. Don't interfere with the sun versus sun. Yes, Master. I have the a respect. Bro, my English hurts. My brain hurts. I'm losing brain cells reading these. Love letter three acquired. I can't comprehend what they're saying, bro. But I guess this will be worth it. Now let's go ahead and just portal out of here. I think we go back to Midtown and talk to him to awaken it to V2 now. We go back to the ice cream guy right over here. Say it and say it well. Okay, something weird has occurred to your dark blade. Cry, cry. My son still loves me. Thanks, bro. You're a real G. Okay. Hey, respect. 100 respect. And I have hacked your dark blade. Let's go see. All right. Yeah, yeah. If you need anything, just let me know. No shame, you know? That's what homies are for. Bro, what? Bro, this guy just rizzed me up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our dark blade. So he hacked it. Visually, it kind of looks the same. Maybe there's a little bit more flames to it. I know V3 is a lot more crazier, but if you guys want to see V3, go ahead and like up the video. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first ability. It's like the slashes, but does it do anything different? Oh, wow. There's a little bubble effect now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just dashed now. Wait a second. If you guys go back, I wasn't able to dash. Crazy. Hold on. Now I have a dash built into my dark blade and it does this bubble pop thing. Kind of like cursed dual katanas. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and look at the dark air slash. Yo, that thing's huge. They say there's no bonus effect switching from Dark Blade V1 to V2, but I think there is a definite advantage. And I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's a huge advantage and it's such an easy quest to do. Let me go ahead and test it on the monkeys over here. Let's go ahead and teleport to the jungle real quick and test it on some monkeys, AKA Rectways. All right, let's test this first one. This dash, bro. How do people say this does not have any effect? This definitely changes the game. Wait, I just realized the Dark Blade Slash goes way further now too. Oh my gosh, this Dark Blade V2 or Yoro V2 is really good now. Hold up. And since I'm here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and spin for a Blocks Fruit because why not? Bro, I got a Light Fruit. I actually got a pretty decent fruit and Milky Way's internet had to just go kaboom. Bro really had to go to a different fast food chain to get some better Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and store this because why not? I'm gonna go ahead and test this Dark Air Slash one more time on this monkey right here but I'm gonna go super far. I wanna see like how far does this thing actually go? You can see the monkey right there. I wonder if it will actually hit him if I go this far. That would be ridiculous. Oh, it went through him. Hold on. It definitely goes that far, but it went through him. Let's try that one more time. All right, let's try it again. Let's see. Does it kill the monkey? And it does. Okay, so the first time was like a little glitch. But as you can see, that is a Dark Blade or Yoru V2. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys wanna see more like it, go ahead and leave a like and sub and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. If you guys remember, a little while ago, I did a video on getting the Dark Blade V2. So as you can see, I have my Dark Blade, and it has a little bit of interesting abilities now that it is V2. I have a dash now, and my Z ability, and my thousand slashes. And my Dark Air Slash now has this giant effect around it, so it is way bigger and goes way further. But in this video, we're gonna go ahead and get Dark Blade V3. But before we do that, we have to get every single race to V3. As of right now, I only have the Angel Race and Ghoul Race to V4. I have to get huge 
human, shark, and mink to V3. So let's go ahead and start with this first race and go ahead and re-roll and see what we get. Right here we have the change race. Let's go ahead and pay 90 bow bucks. <clears throat> courtesy of Rexway. And we're gonna go ahead and see what we got. We got the rabbit race, aka the mink race. So we're gonna have to do the first thing. And that first thing is going to the green area, which was over here. And we have to find a person named Alchemist, an NPC. And I think he's like somewhere right around here, actually. And there he is. So we have to go ahead and talk to him to start the V2 quest line for Mink. And he talks to us and we have to do the flower quest to get this V2. We have to go ahead and find a bunch of flowers. So the first flower we have to find is the red flower. And there we go. We went ahead and found the flower. So we have the red flower so far. Next up is the blue flower, which actually spawns during the nighttime. But we'll go ahead and fast forward to where we find it. I'm just going to take a guess and say maybe it's on remote or something like that. And actually, it turned out it might be over here at graveyard. And yes, it is. So now we have the red and the blue flower, which only means we have the yellow flower left to get. And that is really easy to get. All we have to do is just kill a bunch of NPCs randomly, and they will eventually drop one. And there we go. We got the third flower, which is the yellow flower. So now that we have all three, all we have to do is go back to the green zone and go talk to the alchemist again which means we would awaken it to v2 and then we will be able to do the v3 quest line so we go ahead and talk to him and go ahead and trade in the flowers here go ahead and take it and there we go your race has evolved at the top of our screen next up is v3 and in order to start the v3 quest line we have to go ahead and go back to the cafe and go to this little flower area over here and once you get to this flower area in the back side of it there's like this hidden doorway right here all you have to do is just go in and you have to talk to Arrow over here, and he will give you the V3 quest line. So let's begin. I am the son of Rip Indra, and he's going to tell us all this stuff, and he's going to teach us our race abilities. Now, we have to pick up 30 treasure chests in order to evolve this to Mink V3. So it's actually not going to be that hard. I'm just going to go ahead and grab all these treasure chests and fast forward because nobody wants to see me grab 30 chests. So I've collected chests for a while now, and I don't think it notifies you when you collect all 30. So I'm going to go ahead and go check by going back to the doghouse area and talking to the quest giver. I really hope I got all 30, otherwise this is going to be awkward. Well done! Okay, so I actually did do it. Let's go ahead and pay him up. And there we go. We got new titles, and now we have Mink V3. Oh, no. I am an actual furry, bro. Why am I so fast? My camera can't even keep up with the speed of my animations. Like, look at this. If I activate my agility ability... Oh, my gosh! What is this? I'm actually gonna kind of miss being fast. Let's just go ahead and race reroll for the next race now. We need to get human or shark now. Let's go ahead and spin and hope for the best. Come on. Oh, I got shark. I went from being a land furry to a sea furry. But now we have to get sea furry V2. In order to do that, we have to go ahead and do the flower quest all over again. But I don't think it's gonna be that hard at all because we already know all the spawns. Guys, don't be a bozo like me. Don't go looking for the flowers like I just did because you have to talk to the quest giver again. I completely forgot about talking to him for the second time. And let me tell you, that was embarrassing. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk to him real quick. Go ahead and give us that quest. I need to go find your red flower. Let's go ahead and find it first at mansion. Let's see if it's at this first spawn point is it over here and it is not so if it's not a mansion it's probably going to be back down here and is it down here let's go ahead and check between this crack it is not here okay maybe it's over by factory let's go ahead and just go to the cafe and check up here interesting it isn't even here either why is this red flower so much harder to find when you become a sea furry this doesn't make any sense so if it's not in any of those three spots there's only one spot left which is probably the green zone and if i'm gonna take a guess i'm gonna say it's like around here oh there it is you can kind of see it right there and there we go we got the red flower next up since it's not nighttime yet it's gonna have to be the yellow flower or the third flower and to get that we just got to beat a bunch of random npcs and we should get it eventually and there we go we got the yellow flower now all we have to do is just wait for nighttime for the blue flower to spawn and then we could go find it i decided to go hunting for it and it became nighttime and it spawned right next to me like what are the odds so i'm gonna go ahead and pick that up and now we have all three. We gotta go ahead and return it to the guy. And this is where things start going downhill after we turn it to the alchemist. All we have to do is pay for it. All right, there we go. Now we have race evolve. We are now officially sea furry V2. And for V3, we have to go back to doghouse, talk to this quest giver, Arrow, and he's going to give us the quest to get V3. All we have to do, talk to me again once you defeat a sea beast. So we have to defeat a sea beast in order to get V3. I'll show that sea beast who's a stronger sea furry. And there we go. A new challenger has appeared. I have to go ahead and clap this sea beast's cheeks. I could jump in water now that I'm a sea furry. This is awesome. 
Ow! Bro, you are not clapping my cheeks. I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy him. Easy. I'm using the blizzard fruit for this because it is the easiest thing to kill a sea beast with. And I mean it. All you have to do with blizzard is just fly to its head. Oh, ow. That's mean. But we'll go ahead and fast forward to where we clap its cheeks. And there we go. We just defeated the sea beast that easy. We got all the items we needed. And all we have to do is go back to land now. Now that we're here, we gotta go back to doghouse, talk to the quest giver, and he should give us our furry race v3. Let's go ahead and talk to him. And there we go. We now have shark fins on our arms, which we didn't have before. And we have that little fin on our back of course let's go ahead and see this water body ability Ooh, it's blue ring okay that's pretty cool next up is we have to hope for the human race let's go ahead and change race hopefully we get human come on i don't want to spend all of rectoy's robux oh i got angel all right let's try this again come on give me human come on bro i got shark again nah bro i only have one more chance at this otherwise i'm gonna be out of robux come on let's try it let's try it there we go we got human. Now that we're human race, we have to go ahead and do that flower quest all over again. But I'm just going to skip that part and go straight to V3 and show you guys. So now we have evolved our race. We just turned in the flower quest. And now we have to get human V3. And it is actually really easy to get human V3. In order to get this to V3, we have to go ahead and go back to the doghouse, start the quest again like usual. And we just have to kill three certain bosses over here. And one of them is actually right above us right now. We have to kill Diamond, which is the first boss we fight. And he's actually right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and clap him real quick. Easy. Let's just go ahead and destroy him. So we clapped him. Next up is Jeremy. So now we have to go ahead and teleport over to Jeremy. And we go ahead and clap him. Bro, I just realized, what did they do to Jeremy? Where is Jeremy's glasses and his hair? Bro lost everything. And he even just lost his life. Next boss we have to fight is Fajita, who's actually at the green area. And once we kill this guy, we could go ahead and turn in our quest and get human V3. And then we could finally do our Dark Blade stuff. Let me just go ahead and smack Fajita one more time. And there we go. We got Meteorite from him. Thanks, I guess. And let's go ahead and go back to Doghouse to turn in the quest. We should have human V3 now. There we go. We've unleashed our full power. We have to go ahead and find two fists of darkness in order to get Dark Blade V3. And you guys already know how ridiculously hard it is to get fists of darkness. You could also get them in chests, but they take a really long time to spawn in chests. So we just have to hope for the best and farm some sea beasts. And once we finally get two fists of darkness, we can use them. So yeah, if you're not in my Discord server, go ahead and join it. I pinged everybody in my server to join, and we can only hold a maximum of this amount of players. And we are currently all sea beast hunting. Look at everybody on the map this is gonna take a while so we finally got two fists of darkness it took us roughly about two hours to get these one hour per fist of darkness so we're gonna go ahead and take these to do the dark blade v3 quest and it's a little tricky because you have to do everything off of timing we'll go ahead and get into it in just a second here so in order to get the dark blade v3 we have to go ahead and teleport ourselves to the graveyard. And as you can see behind me right here is like a door actually in this mountain. So it, it is really hard to see. You can't really tell that it's there, but it is there. So now we have somebody else with a fist of darkness and he is going to start up Darkbeard and we are going to go ahead and do it ourselves. He's asking me, am I ready? And I said, yes. Now we just have to go ahead and wait for him to start it up. And once it's started, there we go. We just have to go ahead and do this now. We have to go ahead and click this button here somewhere. Okay, we click the button, and now we have it. It's opening something. Did we do it? Okay, something weird has occurred to your Dark Blade. The Dark Blade looks normal, but if we go ahead and unequip it and then re-equip it, there we go. We have this white aura around our Dark Blade. Now we officially have it. V3. Everybody sing congratulations. Thank you to everybody that helped me from the server. Big W's, and we can see what this looks like now. Our slashes look black and white. And the giant dark air slash is also black. Whoa, that is really cool. So now our colors have changed. It is all just for visual. It doesn't really give you a bonus damage, I'm not sure. But what I do notice is that this dark blade is now white and it looks really cool. Let me go ahead and take off the special rare Valentine's cape real quick. Just so I can show you guys what it looks like on my back. And it's distracting a little bit. There we go. We have the dark blade V3, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more like it, go ahead and leave a like and sub and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.
<laughs> Alright guys, so in today's video, I have a very important question. What's better than one katana? That's right, two katanas. In my inventory, I have the Toshida katana and the Yama katana. And you know what that means? It means we're gonna go ahead and get the dual curse katanas in today's video. So I have Rexway over here and he's gonna help me uh, guide me through the dual curse katana quest line. It is a really long quest line, but I think we're good enough to get it. We're gonna go ahead and start off the quest line by talking to this guy over here while Rexway creeps up around this corner. Jeez, Rexway, I don't know why you're stalking me, bro. You're uh, just jealous you don't have my dual katana dude oh yeah rexway has a dual katana show the viewers look at how nice those look that looks awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and get those bad boys all right so i talked to the guy rexway what was i supposed to do what, was, what information was i supposed to get from this guy you gotta open up the door what door i didn't see a door all right come here you slowpoke come over here and then i'm just gonna teleport right here and then the door is open go in here oh okay Whoa, what is this? Interact. Whoa, Doc Legend, Sense of Duty, and Solace. What is that supposed to be, Rexway? All right, you're gonna have to follow me, bro. Talk to, like, the first guy all the way over here, and then find something that says, pardon me. So we're supposed to talk to this guy, keep talking to him, hit next. Pardon me, okay. Hey, Traveler, I recognize you. It's pleasant to see a familiar face around here. Okay. All right, follow me. We're gonna go to Demon's Basement. Demon's Basement now? The, the graveyard. Yeah, this is where his channel's at. Oh, yo, you'd have to roast him like that. He's not gonna like this one. Okay, now talk to this NPC. Okay, let's see what this guy has to offer next pardon me hey traveler i recognize you it's pleasant to see a familiar face around here didn't you say that over there bro exactly now we're gonna go to cake land all right where do we go now so this guy over here exactly now you gotta talk to this npc that sells you drugs pardon me hey traveler i recognize you you've achieved one okay. what is this i got something in my inventory rexway where is it alucard fragment yeah you got a fragment now okay now we gotta go back to like the top of the mountain are you happy yeah i'm so glad i could totally you know fly up there oh my gosh yeah this is so awesome yeah, you have... wish you can fly like me yeah right i'm like right behind you let me go ahead and activate my ghoul yeah what's up bro i'm so fast second trial sense of duty so what is that supposed to be rexway we have a sense of duty it's a pirate raid but you have to wait because it hasn't even spawned in yet pause the video here and now oh no look we're going to a pirate raid one hour later pirates have been spotted approaching the castle i've been waiting for like an hour for them to come <laughs> Oh, I forgot. We also get like a fruit after this. I'm curious what fruit we get. Buddha is like one of the best fruits in the game, honestly. I love this because you can just destroy anything. <laughs> the scroll reacts to your achievements. A smoke fruit. Literally one of the worst fruits ever. All right, so we're going back to the crypt here. Soulless. Third trial. Soulless. Okay. So this is why they call it the floating turtle. All right, guys. So now we have to go ahead and get a boat and then go to the candy islands, the sea of treats, and then go ahead and kill the cake queen. You know why they call her the cake queen? Why? Because she got some cake. Okay, Rexway. That's a little sus. Wait, why does it say loading here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did it teleport me? What is this? Light the torches and defeat the enemies. Oh, there it is. Light the torch. Oh, oh, chill. Oh my gosh, that was out of pocket. Why'd they attack me so fast? All right, that's the last of those skeletons. What's gonna happen now? All right, let's go ahead and light that torch. Uh-oh. Oh, and the third one's right over here. Let's go ahead and light that one. There we go, transformed into Buddha again. There we go, we killed him. Now we go through this golden gate, I guess. Okay, the skull reacts to your ach achievements. All right, so we gotta go ahead and do the next quest. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. The scroll bursts into flames and disappears. What? It just, it literally just disappeared. It's not here anymore. Oh. There's one behind us. Okay, what's this about? This for the Yama? Pain and suffering, haze of misery, fear the reaper. First trial, pain and suffering. Okay, what are we supposed to do with that one, Rectway? Uh, go go die three times, bro. Have fun. Bye. <laughs> that doesn't sound like very good advice. That's a, that's what you gotta do. Go die three times. Okay, okay. I guess I'll go do that. I think I'm gonna have to let this guy just kill me, according to Rectway. Let me turn off my hockey. Here, I'll let you deal more damage, bro. Rip my bounty. Come on, you can do better than that. I believe in you. Oh, wait, I don't have to die. The skull reacts to your achievements. I died anyways. Haze of misery. Second trial. Whoa, whoa. Everything's like foggy now. Damn, bro. You're going blind. Have fun with that one. That one's like the most painful one. Bro, what is this? I'm blind. I'm supposed to kill the guys with purple, I'm guessing. So let's go ahead and destroy these guys. And what, what's the trick to this? They're, they're pretty much on every island. I have to kind of like go around. Yes, sir. You need to kill every single NPC that has one. Oh my gosh. I have to go find every single NPC in the entire third sea. All right, bro. See you later. I'm going to go take a shower. Let me know when you're done. No. We keep going on a search till we find every NPC and make sure they don't have that purple dot on them. Because if we miss them, we're going to be crying trying to find the last one. Rexway went through it the hard way. Isn't that right, Rexway? Bro, I spent five hours trying to do it, Gate. 
I wanted to jump off a bridge and do a backflip. Well, I could see why. I think I'm going to join you with that soon. What makes this quest so hard and annoying is the fog. Like, look at this, for example. There's an NPC behind me, but you don't see a purple dot on him. But if you're like one step away, it appears. And then if you take another step away, it disappears. Like, it's crazy what this fog can do. I could see why Rexway was done with it. There you go. The school reacts to your achievements. Now I'm finally able to see. Now we have to go ahead and do the third part of this quest. Bro, you had it easier than me, bro. I had to kill more NPCs than you. What? Haha, <laughs> sucks to suck. I'm drowning myself in the middle of the ocean. No, don't do it. It's not worth it, Rexway. It's over. Don't do it. No. Oh, see, you did wuss out. You don't even have the balls. All right, you know what? Dude, I have balls. Look at this. I die. Oh my God. All right, we have to go back inside the crypt, and then we have to go ahead and do the third quest. Let's go ahead, interact. Third trial, fear the reaper. So what do we have to do now, Rexway? Okay, let's go to uh, the graveyard where your channel's at right now, so. You didn't have to roast me that hard, dude. Come on. All right, so you got to summon the reaper now. Okay, so we have to get a hollow's essence, right? Exactly, but you got a chance, so go pray right now. All right, let's see. Give me crazy. Nope, I got nothing. Now roll. We have to give this guy some bones, and he's going to give us some random stuff. Let's see if we could get our thing. We only get 10 rolls per two hours, so this could potentially take more than two hours to do. All right, come on. Hollow's Essence, I got it. Let's go. Are you lying? I swear, look. Bro, what? Now you got to summon him and make him kill you. Okay, so let me go ahead and put it in the fireplace, right? All right. An unknown being has entered this world. I have to let him kill me, and then what happens after that? You'll see, bro. You're about to be in Demon's Basement pretty soon, but that's okay. He's gonna kill me, Rexway. Oh, it killed me. What? Loading? What the heck? Yo, yo, wh where am I? Light the torches and defeat the enemies? Oh, okay, it's like another thing. Let's go ahead and light this torch. See what happens. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, chill out, skeletons. It's another skeleton raid. All right, now we have to go ahead and light another torch. I hate how I have to go small each time. So the next torch is over here, and there's another one over there. They have like a little bit more health than a normal skeleton, I noticed on this one. He's dead, and now this portal open. We go through the portal, the scroll reacts. I think we have to talk to the scroll. Is that right, Rexway? Exactly. All right, let's turn it in. The scroll bursts into flames and disappears. I'll talk to the podium. Like the, the only one on top. There's three podiums, bro. Are you blind? Oh, this thingy right here? Yeah. The six shards of legendary Alucard gem react to each other, forming a new gem. Whoa, what the heck? Yo, what? It's dropping down a secret passage? Hey, yo? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill, 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 chill. Whoa, why was there a skeleton just charging me like that, bro? Why is he so strong? Dude, he has a cursed dual katanas. What do you mean? I didn't even see him. I just saw him running at me and I freaked out. Give me those cursed dual katanas. Let me go ahead and destroy you. I want those katanas. Give me those katanas. I think we kill the skeleton and get the cursed dual katanas? Exactly. Whoa, my screen turned black. Is this normal? Yeah, you're just going blind, but that's okay. I'm going blind? I can't see. My screen is still black. I'm killing things. What's going on? I'm, I'm killing things in the complete darkness. This is this is part of the quest? I guess so. It, it didn't happen to me, but okay. What is this? All right, guys. So I had to rejoin the game. So what you guys saw was actually a bug. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. So I have the cursed dual katanas now. And if we activate our hockey, they glow all nice and cool. This is awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fight Longma and the Cake Queen and see how many levels we can get on this katana because I want to unlock some of the abilities or at least one of them. This is where we kill Ligma. Yeah, these swords deal a lot of damage. Even though they're level one, they're pretty strong. I think they're, they're probably one of the strongest swords in the game for sure. So we leveled up how many times? Look at the mastery just zooming. I know if you kill Ligma, it levels you up a lot very fast. Oh my gosh, we're already about to hit like 100 levels in one kill. Oh my gosh. Okay, 143 levels just from killing Ligma one time. And let's see if we could get level 175 that fast. So here's a Cake Queen. So now what we have to do is go ahead and change it to Buddha, use our stuff, and then kill her. Hopefully we should hit level 175 after killing her. All right, we kill the Cake Queen and we are at level 170 or 184. Okay, so we unlocked our ability already. Let me go ahead and change back down. So let's see what this thing does. Rectway, do you mind if I test it on you? Yeah, let's do it. Revolving Ravenger. Oh, yo, this is sick. That does a lot of damage, guys. That's actually pretty good for just a little basic ability. You know what I just found? What? What'd you find? 
You're lying. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of today's video. We finally got the cursed dual katana. Stick around for tomorrow's video. Well, well, well. Look who decided to return and click on another number school video. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and get the Coco Sword. So I know nothing about this Coco Sword, but what I do know is that it is extremely well when paired up with the Control Fruit. So if you guys don't remember, not long ago, I awakened the Control Fruit. And it was pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. The Control Fruit had some crazy animations when you guys did abilities. So I thought it was really cool. Cool. So what would be really cool with it? It turned out to be the Coco Sword. So we're gonna go ahead and get the Coco Sword. So I have Sugar Way with me, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch to uh, Buddha because we have to do some certain things in order to uh, get this Coco Sword. So we're gonna go ahead and hit equip on the Buddha fruit because we're gonna have to do certain things. We're gonna have to do raids. We're gonna have to go ahead and clap cheeks. You know the usual, right, Rexway? Yeah. What? All right, Sugar Way. I'm gonna go ahead and roll and see what I get, and uh, I'm just gonna give it to you because you always give me stuff. Bro, if you get something mid, just like your mom, I'm gonna be mad at you. Okay. Well, this one's just as good as your mom. Get it? It's mid. This is so mid. Just like your mom. You know what? I'm throwing this in the middle of the ocean. You wouldn't dare. Oh, you want to watch me? You wouldn't waste such a perfect fruit, dude. Don't do it. It's not worth it. I'll do it right now. Come with me. Rectally, don't do it. Drop it in the ocean if you like men. Bro, what? I don't think I want to drop it anymore. What are you talking about? You'd have dropped it a hundred times by now. Okay, you know what? If I drop it, I get your mom. There you go. Yeah, you're still getting men. I am not getting men. Yes, you are. You're getting what you like. Sorry, it's not up to- I do not like men. You decided to drop it in the ocean. Is Rectway dropping the soap again? I never drop soap. Rectway. All right, Milky Way, what do we do? We need to go ahead and get the Cocoa Sword. How do we get it? All right, first, you gotta unequip your, your cursed little katanas like that. Bro, what? Why is your cursed dual katanas floating in the air right here? Magic, bro. But anyways, we need to go to Hot and Code to just do like a law raid and just get a chip from it. Okay, okay, I see you. Let's go ahead and head over to Hot and Cold. The real question is, are you poor? No, because I have a sugar way. Oh my god, I'm saying how many frags that you have. Oh, 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 <laughs> I have 8,700. Okay, you're fine because each one costs like a thousand. Oh, okay. Either way, I still have a sugar way. Oh my god, shut up, dude. Don't talk to me. It's okay, I'll pay you back later. You never pay me back ever. Okay, tell tell the audience how do I pay you back? They should tell you. So we can do this on camera, Rectway. No. All right, so we made it to hot and cold. Um, where is the raid? Dude, you're so blind. What do you mean I'm so blind? What are you talking about? It's so obvious. What do you what do you There's literally nothing here. What? Am I supposed to beat the boss here? No. Follow me. Okay. Get your booty cheeks all the way up here. Okay. See like the little door behind this? Door. Hold up. There's a door behind here. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? Now talk to this NPC. This dude was just chilling here alone? Would you like to buy a microchip for a thousand frags? Just so you know, this will turn out much better for me than it will for you. No refunds. Okay, I got the microchip, Rexway. Oh, it's green. Yeah, follow me now. Okay. So I'm just gonna go turn big, just like how I'm gonna go with your mom. So we go all the way on top. Wait, where are we going now? All the way up here. Okay. Do you like the little door here? There's another door here, okay? Yeah, so... You gotta go here. Wait, no, no, no. You gotta go here. Oh, okay. I go here. And then you place a microchip in the side. Oh, and this little green button, right? Let's go ahead and start up the raid then. <laughs> Whoa, that was fast. Okay. So I'm guessing we just clap this guy's cheeks and we get it? Exactly. But this guy's using control, so he's gonna be annoying. Oh my gosh, bro. Why is he... He's just dashing everywhere. I hate control fruit now. I thought I liked it. Well, I do like it. Not Just not when it's used against me. Oh my gosh, he's using the animation on me. Oh, my cheeks got clapped. Number, hurry up and deal some damage. You're being useless. Bro, I'm dealing all the damage. He just keeps targeting me because he knows I'm the threat and you're not. Dude, you only deal like one damage. No one cares about your one damage. Oh, look, at, he's just clapping your cheeks now. He ain't clapping anything. He's about to get his cheeks clapped. Come on. Oh, oh, he's clapping my cheeks. Hey, yo, chill, bro. Okay, he's like one shot away from dying. We have to kill him. Bro, stop dashing everywhere. There we go. Did we get it? No, we got something called a zebra cap though. So there's like a 10% chance of getting it, but I got a zebra cap. That's pretty cool too. You know what's funny? What? I got it. No, you didn't. I did. You're lying. Look on Discord. Bro, what? How did you get it? I'll just put the screenshot on screen for you guys, bro. He is... No, no way. I think it's just like a skill issue that you have. Oh yeah? Well, I'm gonna settle this skill issue with your mom. Dude, I got it on the first try, just like your mom. Oh my gosh, bro. So because we... we didn't get it on the first try but somehow sugar way did we have to go back up here once again and buy a microchip for another thousand frags so that's why sugar way was asking me am i rich so let me go ahead and uh talk to him again buy another microchip for a thousand frags all right sugar way are you ready to fight law again for the second time yes sir all right let's get it we'll go ahead and fast forward to where we clap law's cheeks again because nobody wants to watch us fight this guy for like 10 more minutes so we clapped him again and we still just got another zebra cap and no sword so this is gonna take a while guys i'm going through all this torture for you guys so make sure to leave a like and sub on the video you want to see a magic trick what can you do this 
What? Hold on, wait, huh? Nah, 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 come back. Well, how'd you do that? Wait, 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 wait. I'm about to show you something else too, bro. Don't worry. Let's go. Did you just switch races? Yes, sir. Bro, you're cheating. I don't know how you're coming in and out of the ground and switching races, but nah, you're cheating. No way. I'm just built different. No, you're built like a cheater. So we finally got the Coco Sword. It only took us like, I don't know, Rex Bay, like three hours? Yeah, bro. Yeah, like trash RNG and we did like over 30 raids. Yeah, I'm gonna cry, guys. So please like and subscribe. Anyways, so now we have the Coco Sword. The whole point of this video was to show you guys how crazy it is when you combine it with the control fruit. So now that I finally have it, I have it mastery one because I just got it, clearly. We have to level it up and then use it with the control fruit and without it. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to when I get this mastery to up and I'm gonna show you guys how much damage it does before I use the control fruit and after I use the control fruit. It's gonna be pretty crazy, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and kill Mr. Ligma in order to get these masteries. We killed Ligma and now we're getting our mastery up. We're probably gonna get like mastery 130 to 140, I'm guessing. And we might unlock the next ability very soon here. 138, okay, so not bad. We're gonna go ahead and keep farming so we unlock both abilities and then I'll showcase them for you guys right here. So finally, after grinding for an extremely long, excruciating period of time, we finally hit Mastery 328, which means we've unlocked the Electric Stab at Mastery 150 and the Injection Shot at Mastery 325. So this is what Electric Stab looks like without using the Control Fruit. So we're gonna go ahead and use it real quick on Rexway. It does 2.4k damage. And then we're gonna go ahead and use the Injection Shot on Rexway. So you have to aim it. And then once you aim it, it releases a shot for 2.7k damage, so that's pretty solid. But it will be stronger with the control fruit active. And I heard you get some crazy range with it. So we're going to go ahead and test that theory out. So we're going to go ahead and talk to the blocks for dealer. And we have control here. So we're going to go ahead and equip it. Go back out to Rectway and test out the control fruit with the sword. So now that we have the control fruit active, all we have to do is put up our control area. Then we test it on our Rectway. So we have to use the Z ability. And from what I understand, it gives you a lot longer range. So look at how far I am now. And if I dash to Rectway, it will still hit him. So you have pretty long control area. So you have pretty long range with the sword now. I think you could even shoot him from this far away. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. It gives you crazy range anywhere in your area. Since you control your area, all you have to do is just use these abilities on everybody. And if you use a sword, it looks way cooler. And if I could just go ahead and use my V ability with this, it will just do a cool animation and destroy Rectway. And then I can continue the combo with the sword. So everybody just gets clapped real quick. Then I can go ahead and dash to Rectway. Go ahead and shoot Rexway. Oh, he teleported away. He is scared. But that damage is insane, and the range is pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so I put up my circle again, even actually further away. So we're gonna go super, super far and see, does this actually hit? So we're gonna go ahead and test our aim. And that does hit him. 2.7k damage. That is insane range for a sword. So I'm guessing because you're using Coco in this, you can just dash anywhere you want in your control area. And it does a lot of range. Cat is trolling saying number school has infinite range hacks. If I go all the way over here, I could probably still hit Rexway. Just go ahead and aim straight ahead. And there we go. 2.7k damage. That is pretty cool. If you guys enjoyed seeing me in pain grinding to get the Coco Sword and like the Control Fruit, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and go ahead and check out all my other videos. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Alright guys, in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and get the Pacento V2. So it's a sword we're supposed to get by doing like a quest line and then beating a boss and it's gonna awaken. But not in the normal way, it's a little different. So I'm actually pretty interested in this sword. Also guys, if I sound a little weird, it's because I'm still sick. If you guys watched my last video, I already said I'm pretty sick, so... Let's go ahead and get right into it. Rectway, uh, how do we get this Pacento? Okay, so the first step, you need to give me your mom's phone number so I can just come over real quick. No, that's not how we get the Pacento, you monkey. What do you mean? That's exactly how I got it the first time you're lying no this is this is uh, you want a bet you want a bet nope see i was gonna give you a fruit wait what hold on is that a pacento yes sir okay that's not fair i deserve a pacento i didn't get your mom's phone number yeah because you don't deserve it that's it frick you dude i'll make you a deal if you give me the pacento i will give you a fruit from the jungle oh okay that sounds like a good deal all right let's go ahead and uh get it all right move the boat a little bit okay okay now jump out jump out why yeah just jump out Hey, hey! Hey, that's your fault. Okay, now stand still. Okay. Are you ready? Ready for what? For what? Oh, okay, you took me to Sky Islands. Why are we at Sky Islands? Because you need to talk to this druggie all the way over here, and now you need to go buy the Basento. Oh, he's gonna sell me some dr- I mean, Basentos? Oh, wait, dual-headed blade and a Basento? Okay, I'll choose the Basento. True power cannot be described. One million? Not bad, okay. 
So now we have the Pacento. Show me where this Pacento is at in my inventory. Ooh, it's a legendary sword. You're mad my Pacento is way bigger than yours. Dude, mine's is way bigger, bro. It's about to slap you up like this. Yeah, right. My Pacento does way more damage. <laughs> Yeah, you're puny a little too damaged. Hold on, that's not fair. That's not fair. Let me go ahead and change my stats real quick. That did not count. I need to go ahead and buy a stat refund. All right, so we're going to refund our stats real quick. Refund, 2450. We're going to go ahead and put that into melee, defense, and sword because I'm using the Buddha fruit with this Basento. So, Rectway, would you like to try that again? Yes, sir. Come and fight me. Where are you? Right here, bro. I'm right below Come you. Come here. Come here. You're getting your cheeks clapped, bro. You're getting your cheeks clapped. What are you talking about? You're not even dealing any damage to me. Hey, 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 hey. We can talk about this, Rectway. Hey, See? yo, 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 yo. Stop. Go away. Yeah, you can't handle my big old Basento. Now, where is my fruit that you promised me? Oh, take me to jungle, Bo. So we'll get you that fruit. All right, fine. There you go. Now give it to me, bro. Okay, I'll give you a fruit. You better pray, bro. You better pray. It's the best fruit in the game. Please give me a leopard. Please. Okay, you're not getting leopard. Oh, no way. I just rolled a leopard fruit. Oh my gosh, dude. Bro, stop trolling me. There's your leopard fruit. It's a leopard, you bozo. Yeah, it is. Look at it. It's got the tail right there and everything. It's a leopard How fruit. How about you take some of this? Hey! All right, with all that aside, we have the Pacento Mastery 1, which means we have to go ahead and master it up to Mastery 150 to see what we can do with this. As you can see, the name is Windbreaker and Quake Sphere. If you guys don't already know, you're supposed to use the Pacento with the Quake Fruit. But we're going to go ahead and hold off on the Quake Fruit until we get V2 Pacento. All right, Sugar Way, can you take us to a boss that we could farm real quick? All right, sir. Come on, get in like this portal hole with me. I don't want to get in your hole, bro. That sounds sus. Wait, there's a boss here? Where's the boss? All the way over here by your mom's house. Bro, that is not my mom's house. That's like a rundown house. Oh my gosh, this is your mom's house. Bro, it's built like your mom. Why did he just fall down? What happened to your mom? Dude, I think this is your dad. Nah. All right, let's go ahead and kill him real quick. Bro, what did he just do? Bro, is, is he... Wait, I just heard him fart. Bro, why are you farting, dude? Come down, bro. Bro, okay, so we killed him while he was farting. That's weird. Okay, so we already masteried up past Mastery 50 by killing him once. So that's pretty solid. We just got to get to Mastery 150 now. We unlocked the first ability called Windbreaker, but I'll show it to you guys when we unlock the Quake Sphere as well. So you brought me to the underwater sea, and we're going to go ahead and clap this boss real quick. Yo, what's up, dude? I'm going to clap your cheeks real quick. Nothing too crazy. Oh, we only leveled up like seven times from that, bro. This thing sucks. Bro, did you take me to prison? Oh, wait, there's like three bosses here, huh? You deserve to go to prison. No, that's you, bro. You deserve prison time. I think you do. Bro, these bosses suck. What is this? Oh, I got a warden sword. Hold up. Did I just get a new sword? Oh, I got the warden sword. I need to clap him up real quick. There we go. Bro, we barely mastered up. You know what? You know what? Let's just fast forward to when we get mastery 150. And Rectway, why do you look so creepy over here, bro? Did I look hot? What do you mean? No, you look like you just did a bunch of dr- all right, guys, we finally got the Pacento to Mastery 153, which means we've unlocked all the abilities. All right, awesome, dude. Are you ready for V2? Yeah, I'm excited for V2. Is it V2 what we're supposed to be getting? Yeah, good luck, bro. It's going to take you six hours. Um, what did you just say? Six hours. Look at the chat. Look what Kat said. Now you wait six hours. What are you guys talking about? He had to spawn in in six hours. You need to kill an NPC. That spawns every six hours? Yeah. Oh, nah, nah, no, mm-mm. Mm -mm. You guys better like and sub right now because I'm waiting six hours for this. I'm going to cry. All right, Rexway. Six hours later, we finally did it. Are you excited? We have Greybeard right here. Are you hyped? Yes, I'm hyped now. Smack his booty, bro. Come on. Okay, hold up. Ally me so I don't smack your booty on accident, bro. All right, fine. There you go. Let's go ahead and clap him up, Rexway. We have to destroy him to get this V2 awakened. Oh, he is so gonna get clapped, bruh. What the heck? He deals, like, a lot of damage. Oh, he does deal a decent amount of damage, but I deal way more damage. You know why? Because my Bacento is way bigger than his Bacento and your Bacento. Bro, what are you talking about? Mine is bigger than both of yours combined. Yeah, right. You're just jealous that mine's is bigger, bro. I think you're just jealous because mine deals way more damage. Yeah, but who's bigger? Well, look at how much damage I'm dealing. I have 116,000 damage. I do, too. No, you don't. Your Bacento's small. That is a lie, bro. You're just jealous. Nope, we just did a myth video, and it came out to be true remember you're lying all right he's almost dead rex wait we have to clap his cheeks come on i want that basento v2 come on basento v2 please it's taking forever whoa something weird has occurred to your basento oh is that true what happened to my basento so interestingly enough you don't get a basento v2 in my inventory i still only have the pull first form and the pull second form for the basento you only get one form even though it's awakened now that we killed graybeard the names stay the same down here but the abilities apparently change there's only one way to find out we're gonna go ahead and equip the quake fruit because that's what this basento is best paired with but unfortunately for me i don't think i have a quake fruit yeah i don't have 
have a quake fruit. Ahem. <clears throat> Milky Way. Bro, what do you want me to give you the quake fruit for? It's okay. It's okay. We'll make a fair deal. We'll go to the second sea and we'll trade, you know? Yeah. How about you trade me your mom so I can make your quake? Shut up. All right, Milky Way, let's head towards the cafe. We got to go make our trade, bro. I got the best fruits for you. Bro, if you give me dog water, thanks for my, my quake fruit. I'm literally about to slap you across the screen. Bro, you can't even reach me. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm right behind your cheeks right now. You can't even clap them if you wanted to. Oh, yeah? You want to bet on that? Yeah, I'll make it to the cafe before you can even touch me. Get your booty all the way over here, bro. I already made it before you, huh? No, you're cheating. Doesn't count. All right, get over here, bozo. Get on this table. Are you ready for the best trade of your life? Yeah, show me, like, the good fruits. Oh, I got you with the best fruit, bro. The bestest fruits in the game. There you go. Enjoy it. Bro, what? This is garbage, and you're offering for my quake fruits? Bro, come on. You can't pass up this deal. This is so mid. Yeah, right. It's the best deal you'll ever get. You know what? Since you're my friend, I'll allow it, bro. All right, all right. No, why did you remove it? Because I can't trade you. Value difference. There you go. Now you can. Oh, now okay. I'll accept it. There you go. You're such a scammer, dude. Scammer gets scammed. Elbozo. W trade for skull. Another common wrecked way <laughs> yeah, shut up, clown. All right, so now that we scammed directly, we go ahead and equip this quake fruit, and then we eat it. Bro, what are you trying to do? You're not supposed to eat that. Bro, what? I'm, I'm supposed I to eat it. I thought you were collecting. No, no, no. I got to eat it, bro. You literally have perm quake fruit. What was the point of that? Um, we don't talk about it. You're so dumb, bro. You made me lose that. So now that we have the quake fruit equipped, we're going to have to go ahead and reset our stats. I got to put some points into blocks fruit, you know? So let's go ahead and do a refund. I have to go ahead and buy this again. Refund. Put 2450 into blocks fruit. We need it into sword as well. I'm going to go ahead and split between these two because why not? Here, and we're also going to need some stamina. So let's go ahead and do that and perfect. There we go. Let's go ahead and test this on sugar way now Alrighty milky way. Are you ready to get your cheeks clapped by my big juicy Bacento? No, the way that you said it makes me want to clap you instead Okay, well, that's not happening because I have awakened quake fruit. You're done, dude What the frick dude? Leave me alone. Nah, bro. I gotta go ahead and clap you with this Bacento too. Come here. But look at this Bye bye. Oh my god, you use your ball on me all right, we're going to try this one more time, but I'm going to absolutely combo you. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, buddy. Okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. Bro, what are you trying to do, bro? Bro, I'm going to clap your cheeks is what I'm going to do. But you're missing all your shots. How am I missing, bro? You're about to get clapped. Look at the tsunamis are going to take care of you. I'm not even going to touch you here. Look at this. The Pacento did all the work. Oh, yeah, bro. What? <laughs> you got destroyed. I was literally about to punch you. In this video, we're going to go ahead and get the Midnight Blade. And I have Milky Way here with me. And Milky Way is going to actually teach me where to get the Midnight Blade. So, Rexway, where do I get this Midnight Blade? Okay, it's going to cost you like a fee, bro. Okay, I don't care what the fee is. I'll pay it. So, if I tell you to, uh... Okay, I'm not going to say it, but, like, let's go to, like, the cafe instead. I'll tell you here. You're, you're being a little sus, bro. What do you want from me? I want you to go roll a fruit. Oh, okay. Why'd you say it like that? You, you were like, oh, I don't have to tell you. You're being weird, bro. <laughs> I was gonna ask for something else, but never mind. Oh, because you're being weird, this is the weird fruit you get. A chop fruit. You gave me a chop fruit. I don't want this. Too bad. Didn't I give you that last video? Yes, you're giving me like the mid fruits every single time. Hey, bro, I'm sorry. My luck ran out. Now you're supposed to teach me where to get this midnight blade from. All right, so this is how you get it. You have to jump in the middle of the ocean and then drown. That's not how you get it. Take me there now. Fine, fine, fine. Get in the hole then. Bro, you're being sus. Oh, we're on the pirate ship. Okay. What's the first thing we have to do in order to get it? We need to talk to like the admin so we can get the midnight blade. Okay. And he's over here? No, that's the wrong guy. That's El Perro. Where is El Admin? Bro, it's so dark in here. Where is he? Okay, follow me. Okay, I'm coming. But don't get too close. Then why not? Because I don't want you touching my cheeks. Oh, El Admin. All right. So we have to go ahead and talk to this guy. And he has the midnight blade. Sorry, you need 100 ectoplasm to make a deal with me. So now we have to go ahead and farm 100 ectoplasm. We'll go ahead and, you know, fast forward that part because uh, this is going to take forever. Number, how much ectoplasm do you have? Uh, let me go ahead and check that right now. Hold on, let me just go ahead and kill these guys real quick. There we go. We just farmed them up. Now we have exactly 69 ectoplasm. You have 69 ectoplasm? Why would you ask that question when I have that exact number, Rectway? Dude, how am I supposed to know they have that much? Do you want me to go over to your mom's house and do 69? 
Oh, okay, no, 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 that's getting cut out of the video. You need to calm down, boy. Slow your roll. So after killing a bunch of NPCs, we finally hit 101 Ecto, which means we could go ahead and go back to the L admin and then go ahead and buy the Midnight Blade from him. So I'm gonna go ahead and run over there. And I think he's in the second room. Yes, he is. All right, let's go ahead and talk to him. Would you like to trade 100 Ectoplasm for the Midnight Blade? Of course I would. All right, awesome. Now we have the Midnight Blade. Ooh, it's a legendary sword. Okay, let's go ahead and equip him. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Yo. Oh, why is he holding it like that? What the? Bruh. They knew what they were doing when they made this sword. This stance is a little weird. Bro, what are you even talking about? Bro, you don't see how I'm holding the sword? Wait, you can't even see. Right, I'll just come show you. Uh, Rexway, how'd you get here and why are you built like that? <laughs> what do you mean? I look normal on my screen. Bro, this isn't very normal at all. Oh, yeah? Hey, whoa. whoa. Okay, let's, hey, let's talk about this. Mine's is bigger, bro. No, no, no. Mine, look at how I'm holding it. Look at mine's Dude, way bigger. what do you mean? Mine's is better. Uh-uh. You can't even hold yours like this, bro. You can't handle all Dude, this. Dude, why are you touching mines like that? Hey, let's let's touch the swords. No! All right, Milky Way, take me back to the cafe. Say please. Please, I'll touch your sword hey, with this one. Hey, no, bro. You know what? Fine. You're going back to, like, the cafe, but don't ever talk to me again. Dude, come on. I is that couch comfy, Rectway? What are you even talking about? I don't even know what you're trying to say here. You look like you're lounging on the couch. You're laying down, bro. I look fine on my screen. No, you're tripping. Let's go ahead and see how the sword looks when you swing it. Oh, you do a little spin move. Okay, I like the animation. The animation's pretty clean. But there's a big problem with this sword. We're only Mastery 1 with it, and it goes up to Mastery 325. And also, just by looking at the names, the names are Portal Opening and Crescent Dash, which means this blade is probably paired up with the Portal Fruit. So this is going to be pretty interesting. I typically do not use the Portal Fruit unless it's for some crazy combos. So that might mean this sword has some crazy combo potential. All right, Rexway, we have to go ahead and level up this sword. Okay, and now we're going to do that. We gotta go to the third C. You know your best friend. We gotta go to him and level it up. Who's my best friend? Ligma. Ligma is not my best friend. He is your best friend. Dude, I'm talking about the cake queen. She's like... Mm. Okay, T teleport me to the third C, dude. Get out of here. Fine, jeez. So we're in the third C, and I have the Midnight Blade on my back, and I'm not gonna lie, this looks pretty hard. This looks nice. All right, Rexway, teleport me to the castle. Now we have to go ahead and set home here. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the mansion and switch our fruits. In order to level up this sword really fast, we're going to go ahead and switch to the Buddha fruit, wherever the Buddha fruit is. There it is. Let's go ahead and equip the Buddha fruit and then go ahead and say hello to Rectway's best friend. Because we switched to Buddha fruit, we have to refund our stats as well. We don't need blocks fruit anymore. So we're going to go ahead and put 2415 to melee, defense, and sword and go kill Ligma. Yo, Rectway, Ligma's not here. I heard if you turn around and turn back around, he will spawn in. What? No way. Okay, let me look over here. He's not here. Let me look behind me. Okay, what if I look now? Bro, nah, nah, nah. This is weird. But I'm gonna go ahead and kill him with my Buddha transformation and kill him with this sword real quick. Everything looks so much clearer now in the last video. I got my observation V2. Okay, Ligma, you're about to get it, bro. Yo, the Midnight Sword actually does a good amount of damage, even though it doesn't have any abilities unlocked, and it's only Mastery 1. The damage is pretty solid still, and I like the animations. And there we go. We just killed Ligma, and we're mastering up super fast with this blade. Oh my gosh. We're probably gonna hit Mastery 150 with maybe just one Ligma kill, and we might unlock the first ability by then. Okay, we're actually Mastery 140. We're just 10 off of the first ability. Let's go ahead and go kill the cake queen next. Yo, Rectway, see your sugar mama? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm about to finesse her. You know what I'm about to do? What? Show her my giant midnight blade. Look at this. Dude, what are you even talking about? Get out of here. Don't even touch her, bro. You're just jealous that she likes my giant midnight blade. No, yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Shut up before I send you to like a black hole, bro. Oh, wow. I'm so scared. I could just get out of it with my giant midnight blade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, bro. That thing ain't gonna pop out anytime soon. We just killed the sugar mama, and now we have 182 mastery, which means we've unlocked the first ability. But I don't think I want to show you guys the first ability yet without unlocking the second one, because there's probably some crazy combo potential, and why not have both abilities to combo with instead of just one? But don't worry, guys. I won't torture you guys and make you guys wait too long. We're gonna go ahead and skip to Mastery 325 in just a second. Don't you guys like the power of editing? Look it, we're Mastery 326, which means we've unlocked both abilities. After a long grind, you guys didn't have to sit through, but I had to cry to do it. Let's go ahead and do this on Rectway. So the first ability we have is called Portal Opening. And from what I understand, these abilities are really good for comboing. So let's go ahead and do the first ability called Portal Open on Rectway. Oh, it stuns him so he's not able to move and it explodes him. That's pretty good. Next ability we have is called Crescent Dash. Let's see what this does. 
Oh, it's the same thing, but you have a dash at the same time. And then the Z ability is already up, so you can kind of spam these. These are a little spammy, I'm not gonna lie. They're pretty good, though. And also, if I'm not mistaken, they break observation. So, Rexway, go ahead and activate your observation. And he has observation V2, by the way. Let's go ahead and test this. Look at that. His observation dodged for a second, but it couldn't dodge the explosion that it traps him in. Let's go ahead and see if the Z ability dodges your observation. Do you have it active, Rectway? Yes, sir. All right, let's see. Oh, what the heck? Did he just counter me, bro? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, well, you still took the damage, so it still worked. This is pretty solid. Now, let's see if we could combo it with any other fruits. All right, so we're going to go ahead and talk to the blocks for dealer, and we're going to switch to the portal fruit. There it is. We go ahead and equip the portal fruit. And we have to reset our stats now that we're using a block fruit because we have it set for Buddha stats. Wait, would you look at that? I don't have any more refund points. <clears throat> Sugar way, richest man in blocks fruits way. Bro, why do you always ask me for stuff, dude? Come on, get some money for one. Bro, come on. It's only 50 bow bucks. I'll give you a... Um... Hey, yo, yo, yo. Stop trying to kiss my sword, dude. Stop. Your sword. Yo, here you go. Take bro. it. Take it, bro. <laughs> Thanks, Milky Way. Okay, let's go ahead and do our refund now. Go ahead and refund here. Let's put 2450 into blocks through sword, and we'll split between melee and defense. We'll do 1225 into both of those. And there we go. Now we have a fully reset stat page. Rexway, are you ready to get comboed? No, I'm not. Well, too bad. Let's use the portal dash ability on Rexway. See what that does. If we go ahead and dash him, he could go ahead and get... Oh, my gosh. Oh, the, the range is a little short on that Z ability. But as you can see, you have some combo potential there. Obviously, I don't know how to do a full combo just yet. It's my first time using the Midnight Blade. So after messing around and trying to figure out the combo for a while, I think I found one that was pretty crazy. Go ahead and use this. Use this. Go ahead and use the Kabucha X. Go ahead and use the X ability here. Go ahead and use that. And he already dies just by that. And you could use a second part of the Midnight Blade if he's still alive. So... That's a pretty solid combo. I did do it a little slow, but like I said, it's my first time using this sword. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more like it, go ahead and leave a like and sub, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Do you guys know what is long, spiky, and has three tips? That is right. The spiky trident that we have to get from the Doe King. What were you thinking? It had to have been the spiky trident, right? Let's go ahead and go get the spiky trident. We got to go ahead and get on a boat and go head towards the cream island or whatever they call them, the candy islands. There's a boat here, but there's a big problem. We have to go to those islands in style because we're going to meet a couple people over there. So we got to go show up with some flair and finesse. We're going to go ahead and spend that 5,000 and get a sleigh. You know what's cooler about this sleigh? We also have our own banners. That is right. That is the Skull Squad banner. Oh, and we get some nice music. Take a listen. Anyways, let's go ahead and head towards those islands. All right, we're pulling up to one of the candy islands here. As you can see, there's two boats and my third boat right there. Let's see who the first person is that we meet. And would you look at that? It's Milky Way. Say hello, Milky Way. Bro, why are you in here? Because we're going to go ahead and get the spiky trident. You like my sword? Bro, get away from me. My screen is shaking and everything's shaking. Bro, you're using the angel race. Get away from me. Bow down to me, number. It doesn't work in Buddha form, bozo. Oh, yeah? How about now, huh? Ah, what are you trying to make me do to you, huh? Whoa, 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 bro. You're being sus. Chill. Bro, what do you mean? I'm just showing you my sword. That sounds... Nah, bro. You're being sus. And over here, we have his bandites. Bandites is a little camera shy, so he doesn't really talk much. But that is bandites. He also has the chalice that we're going to be using to summon the Doe King. So now, while Rectway and bandites are doing the hard work, let's go ahead and see how much work they actually put in. Let's go ahead and talk to drippy mama over here we need 347 more npcs to summon the doe king we have to kill 500 so that's a lot of npcs but luckily with the power of editing and super speed we could go ahead and go into the portal now bandites is giving drip mama the chalice right now and the portal just opened Let's go ahead and head inside the portal and, uh, whoa, okay. We're already fighting the Doe King and he's already doing all over Rectway. Yo, are you good, Rectway? No, dude. He keeps doing all over me, bro. He needs to chill. Well, oh, wait. He's doing on both of us. Bro, what? This dude's doing a Doe combo. Oh, my gosh. And the Doe King keeps doing all over me. But if you guys can tell, there's three Buddhas going at this Doe King and this Doe King is barely getting phased by it. It is crazy how much health this Doe King has. I think this boss might have the most health in the game besides Indra. Let me know down below, guys. Does the Doe King have more HP than Indra? Because it honestly kind of feels like it. The Doe King is actually about to get destroyed right now. Dude, he's doing all over me. Chill out, bro. There we go. We went ahead and killed him. Did we get anything useful from him? Let's go ahead and check our inventory and see if we actually got the spiky trident. I'm pretty sure I saw it. Yep, there we go. We got the spiky trident. We finally unlocked it. I've been trying for a while to get it. It's a pretty low chance of getting it, not gonna lie. But we have the spiky trident. We need to go ahead and level this bad 
bad boy up and see how good it is. It's a dough item, so we have to use it with the dough fruit once we go ahead and level it up. Luckily, we have Ligma here, aka Rectway's best friend. Rectway, do you see this trident? What about it? Do you know where this is gonna go? It's gonna go up your booty hole. No, 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 no. It's gonna go up yours. Turn around, Rectway. Hey, yo, 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 yo. I'll let you take some of this number. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, chill, chill. I won't hit you with it. Let's go ahead and kill Ligma here. I'm using Buddha with the trident just so I can level it up really easily here, and I won't have a problem. All right, Ligma, you're about to get destroyed by my spiky trident. And there we go. We are leveling up like crazy. What mastery are we at with this? Oh my gosh, it's still going. So we're at 70 so far, and it's still skyrocketing. Let's go ahead and see. What is this going to go up to? 139. We need to get to mastery 150 to unlock the first ability. So let's go ahead and go kill the sugar mama. And now it is time to clap the sugar mama's cheeks. Rexway. I think you're gonna be really upset when you find out I'm using the spiky trident on her. Bro, what are you even talking about? You need to shut up and try to get your own girl. I think you're just jealous of my spiky trident. I think you're just jealous that it's way bigger. Look at it. I'm Buddha. It's gigantic. Oh my gosh, it's actually really long. Hold up. I was just kidding at first, but why is that so long? Bro, what? stop talking about your stupid little, like, trident, dude. I get your thing is, like, two inches, but calm down. That's two inches more than you. Uh-huh, sure, buddy. And there we go. We just killed the sugar mama, and now we are still leveling up. So far, we hit mastery 179, which means we've unlocked the dough hurricane. Wait a second. That sounds a little sus. Right, wait. You don't mind if I dough hurricane all over you later, right? Ah, uh, I do mind, actually. You can do that. You know what? I think I'm gonna do it without your permission. We're gonna go ahead and do that later and i'm also gonna do the flying trident pull on you after as well how does that one sound to you dude you need to go away and chill dude okay well let's go ahead and speed run to mastery 350 and figure out what this trident does and how we can combo it with the dough fruit if you guys remember in my last video i used the midnight blade with the portal fruit and did some pretty good combos with that i'm assuming because this is a dough item the dough fruit's gonna have a really good combo with this as well guys we've underestimated the grind we are at mastery 285 we were so close to mastery 300 but it's taking us some time i'm not gonna lie Oh my gosh, the K-Queen's finally about to die. And there we go. We hit Mastery 306, which means we've unlocked both abilities finally. Guys, I have been grinding for so long. I am so glad this finally happened. Oh gosh. All right, Milky Way. This is the part of the video where we test it on you. Are you ready to get dote on by three pointy tips? Bro, what are you even talking about? No, I do not. Okay, well, get ready. Get prepared for it because you're about to get dote on by my spiky trident. The first ability we have is called Doe Hurricane and it is the Z ability. And bro, why am I floating? What? Hold on, this ability makes you fly? Get ready to get dote on. Oh my gosh. Wait, 3.4k damage, and it's like a push that does a good amount. Like, look at his health. It got chunked. Next ability we have is called the Flying Trident Pull, and that's the X ability. Let's go ahead and see what that does. Why am I posing? What's going on here? All right, let's just try this. Oh, it just literally pulls you. But why is it called the Flying Trident Pull? Does it have some sort of range? Let's go ahead and try that one more time with a, a further distance. All right, this is the distance test. Let's go ahead and try it on Rectway here. Oh my gosh, wait a second. No way. I can dough on you that far? Stop talking about doughing on people, dude. That's literally the point of this sword. Or this trident, should I say. I could combo you with this pretty good, too, even without the dough fruit. But with the dough fruit, it'd be even better. Like, all I have to do is just pull you. Then I could just go ahead and go over here. Then I could go ahead and go over here. Pull you up. Oh, I missed. Wait, where'd you go? Oh, was so oh! But I'm not gonna lie, guys. That was actually pretty solid. But we have to do it for tradition. We have to go ahead and equip the dough fruit. So let's go ahead and go back to the mansion and talk to the dealer. So I was walking towards the dealer and then something just fell off. And you guys know what felt a little weird? I didn't give Rectway his little fruit. Rectway, Milky Way, Sugar Way, come here. Bro, what do you want? Come here, Mommy Way. I have a gift for you. If it's something garbage like you always roll, I'm gonna murder you, dude. Oh, no, you're gonna love this one, bro. You've been begging for this one. Why? It starts with an L and ends with the Erd. What? Yeah, that's right. I rolled a leopard, baby. This ain't leopard, dude. This is so garbage. Dude, it's the best one in the game. It's the leopard bomb fruit. You never heard of it? The leopard bomb fruit? Yeah, it's the new update, dude. I don't know what update that you, you've been hearing about, but that sounds pretty garbage to me. All right, let's go ahead and talk to the dealer and go ahead and equip our dough fruit. I got a dough all over Rectway. Since I'm going to be doughing all over Milky Way, we're going to have to go ahead and refund our stats here. We have 2450 in block fruit. We have to put it in sword. Oh, Milky Way went ahead and gave me another stat refund. Thanks, Milky Way. I'll pay you back later. Oh my god, stop! Let's go ahead and put 1225 into melee, defense, and there we go. So, first things first is I'm gonna go ahead and destroy Rector with the sword and then combo him with the dough fruit. Alright, Milky Way, it's time to die, dude. Go this, this. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, you're, you're done, bro. This is so easy. 
Where are you? Bro, I missed! Somewhat. But Milky Way's about to die here. Bye bye, Milky Way. I literally didn't even move an inch, and somehow you missed your attacks, bro. Dude, you're so tiny, that's why. You have a small trident. It's okay. What do you mean that I have a small trident? Oh, my bad. You don't even have a trident. You have a little tiny scythe. Bro, what are you even talking about? My scythe is bigger than your stupid little sword. You want to see your actual sword? Yeah, look at it. It's bigger. Look at it. This is your sword right here, bro. <laughs> This is how tiny it is. Excuse me? What is that? All right, that's it. You're done for now, bozo. You're done. You're done. You're done, bozo. Uh-uh. You had this coming, Milky Way. Oh, my gosh. Easy. Oh, you want to have, like, an actual fight then? Yeah, you want to try me? Let's go. All right, fine. I'm going to use, like, a special fruit on you, bro. All right, let's see it. Are you ready, number? Yeah, are you ready? Yes, sir. I am ready bro. to clap your cheeks, bro. Leopard. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Milky Way. Yeah, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, what? You got a problem with my spammy moves? No, I'm just sad that you became a furry. I didn't expect you to come to this. I'm not even a furry. Nope, I caught it in 4K. You became a furry. Well, if you guys enjoyed me doing on Rectway or him being a furry, go ahead and leave a like and sub, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, guys, it seems like you guys like long and pointy things. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and get the dragon trident. Not a lot of people use it or even talk about it, but I'm actually quite interested in it. So with that being said, we need to go ahead and fight a certain boss to get the dragon trident because I don't have it. So Milky Way. What's up, bro? Would you like to be my chauffeur? I'll pay you in a little roll. Bro, what are you trying to talk to me about? I don't even know what you're trying to tell me. Okay, okay, here's the deal. I'll go ahead and roll a fruit for you and then give it to you and you'll take me to where I need to go, all right? Sound like a fair so you trade? you want me to be your, your Uber driver? Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is actually a really good payment. Would you like it? Dude, if you, like, shove a kilo fruit in front of my face, I'm going to butt slap you. Butt slap me, bro? What? No, I don't want to be butt slapped. Take it, bro. Oh, oh my god. Dark fruit. Okay. She also gave me a dark fruit. Bro, what? Two dark fruits? That's the best deal you ever got. Go ahead and take me to Tidekeeper now. Okay. Come with me, number. Okay. So here we go. We got to go all the way up here. And we gotta go kill the boss that's all the way back there. Apparently, he's the one that drops the dragon trident. Also, do you guys like the rainbow hockey I have? If you guys haven't watched my last video, go ahead and watch it. That's how I got it. Anyways, where is this Tidekeeper, Rectway? Dude, you need to summon him. How do I do that? You gotta call him your daddy. I'm not doing that. Why not? I'm not calling him my daddy. Now hurry up and spawn him in somehow. Okay, then call me daddy then. Die. No, it's not gonna work for until you say it. I'm not saying it. Go ahead and spawn him in now. All right, fine, you stupid clown. There he is. All right, now we transform and clap his cheeks. Oh, he spawned in the sea beast. Oh, wait, maybe that's cat sea beast. But he is getting absolutely destroyed. Oh, yep, that's definitely Cat's Sea Beast. We have an ally Sea Beast killing the boss. It seems like he died, but I didn't get anything from it. This is attempt number two. The first attempt was a flop. We didn't get the Dragon Trident somehow, but we have to get it now. Come on, Tidekeeper, you gotta die, bro, and give me that Dragon Trident. Okay, we're dealing a good amount of damage. He has to drop it now, right? We got the Dragon Trident. There we go. Item drop, Dragon Trident. So let's go ahead and look at our inventory, and if we scroll down, we should see it right there. And there it is, the Dragon Trident. So yeah, we finally got the Dragon Trident. Wait, 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 wait. number, number, number. What? Do you like dragons? Yeah, I guess. Dragons are pretty cool. How, how much do you like dragons? Uh, dragons are cool. What do you want me to say? They're awesome? I like dragons? I don't know. Good, because you're gonna love me dragging these nuts across your... So frick Milky Way for roasting me with that stupid joke. Let's go ahead and open up our inventory and equip the dragon trident. So, we go ahead and equip it now. We have a mastery one. I just read the abilities and for a second, I thought that said sea dragon furry, bro. And what is Rectway doing to me? Bro, chill out. Oh my gosh. The next ability we have is water dragon prison, but we unlocked both of these abilities at mastery 150 and mastery 350. So that means we're gonna have to go ahead and level this up pretty fast somehow. Which means we're gonna have to go ahead and go to the third C to level this bad boy up. So now that we're in the third C, we gotta go say hello to Rectway's best friend, Mr. Ligma. I just realized the trident matches my hockey color, so that means it turns into a rainbow color too. This is actually pretty clean. What the heck? Now, I'm not gonna lie, the dragon trident does look a little better than the spiky trident. Let's go ahead and kill Ligma now. Alright, Ligma, it's time to meet your end, but first, I need to transform into Buddha. And we're gonna go ahead. Oh my gosh, my trident is gigantic. I'm not gonna lie, I like the way it swings too. It has a nice animation to this trident as well. And it does a good amount of damage. Look at I'm just melting Ligma 
42k damage that fast. He's already down to half health. We haven't even unlocked any abilities yet. And it's still Mastery 1, so the damage is still really low. And there we go. We just killed Ligma and Mastery'd up all the way. Let's go ahead and see what Mastery we hit with this Trident. Bro, this Pale Scarf is blocking my face. Let's go ahead and equip a Valkyrie, bro. I need to see my face. This Dragon Trident went up to Mastery 138. We are super close to the first ability. One more Ligma kill or Sugar Mama kill will definitely bring us up to that Mastery 150. Let's go ahead and speed run kill Sugar Mama real quick and go ahead and Mastery up this Trident. So we're about to kill Sugar Mama now and oh my gosh, I can't even see my screen. There we go. We just killed the Sugar Mama now, which means our Trident finally surpassed Mastery 150. Since we unlocked the first ability, we're not gonna go ahead and use it just yet. We're gonna go ahead and use it once we unlocked up to Mastery 350 because I want to get a good idea on how this Trident works with combos. I'm sorry, Mr. Sea Dragon Furry ability, but you're gonna have to wait. But until then, we'll go ahead and speed run fast forward to Mastery 350 with the Trident so we can unlock both abilities. Would you look at that? We are finally Mastery 350, which means we have both abilities unlocked. First ability is called Sea Dragon Furry. The second ability is called Water Dragon Prison. So let's go ahead and use the first ability called Sea Dragon Furry. But there's a big problem. The problem is, I didn't even use the ability on Rectway yet, and he's already a Sea Dragon Furry. Bro, what are you trying to say, dude? Look at you. Look at your little tiny tail, bro. You're considered like a Sea Furry, too. No, 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 no. I'm not considered any furry of any sort. You have fins, and you have a tail that wags, bro. You have a tail that's broken. It doesn't even wag at all, bro. Bro, don't make fun of it. Leave me alone. All right, let's go ahead and test this sea dragon furry on you. This one does like a push stun. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. I do like that. Let's test the next ability. It's called water dragon prison. What does this do? Oh, that's pretty nice. It traps Rectway, and I don't think Rectway is able to move in any of those abilities. Are you able to move, Rectway? No, I can't. Stop trapping me in your little tiny prison number. All right, try moving if I hit you with this one. I can't. Bro, you get trapped all the time. Okay, that's pretty solid. And to be honest, I think you could combo somebody without even using a fruit. So let's go ahead and try a combo with Rectway. We're going to go ahead and use the X ability first, then the Z ability. Go ahead and use Electro Claw. Go ahead and do that. And Rexway should be dead here. Or nearly. Oh, hey, he yo, stop. I just got myself 3.5 million bounty. Okay, okay. Just because you have that little 3.5 million bounty, I'll let you live. But dang, I almost killed him without using a fruit. If I combine this with some other fruit, he would absolutely get destroyed. And I think I know what fruit to use with this combo. Rexway, I'm going to have to clap your cheeks, bro. There's no other way around it. Dude, stop. I don't want you clapping me anytime soon. I'm sorry, bro. It has to be done. Wait a second. Hold on, hold on. I just thought of something. The Sea Dragon Furry has the same ability as as the kabucha nearly so if i just go ahead and just hit you with this i think i could also hit you with the kabucha and it just sends you flying <laughs> it sends you all the way back there that is actually hilarious and you can't even dodge it all right guys let's go ahead and switch fruits and i'll show you guys what fruit i have in mind so we go ahead and talk to the dealer and then we're gonna go ahead and equip which fruit is it? The gravity fruit. Yeah, it sounds like a weird combo fruit, but we're gonna go ahead and use this. It's pretty solid, I'm guessing. For this combo, I'm gonna go ahead and switch up my stats. So we're gonna go ahead and refund it. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw 2415 to blocks fruit. Melee defense. We're not gonna really worry about sword because sword is just gonna be used to just like stop them from moving. So let's go ahead and try this combo on Rekve. We're gonna go ahead and use the X ability. Then we're gonna go use the Z ability. Then we're gonna go ahead and use the C, X, V and keep him there. And he's pretty much just gonna die to this. We could finish him off with Electro Cloth if he's still alive. Yeah, he's pretty much dead here. Yep, that's pretty solid. So that combo is pretty good if you just trap them there. You could even do it by doing it a little bit different. Just choosing the patterns on how you use this combo will definitely change the way and how fast it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the V, C, and X ability and see how that does. So then we're going to hold a Rectway here, and he should be pretty low here. We're going to go ahead and use this ability now. We use a Dragon Trident here, and it keeps him stuck. Wait, what? I missed the Dragon Trident ability? You know what? Forget you. Just die already, bruh. Rectway, are you ready for some real PvP, bro? Dude, I'm about to clap your cheeks, bro. You don't want to mess with me. All right, let me switch to something better. All right, Rectway, you're not even ready for this fruit. Let's go ahead and equip this one. You're going to be really sussed out of this fruit combo. What are you going to do? Use, like, the dough fruit? Oh, yeah, you're ready for it, aren't you? You're just waiting for it. Dude, I'm about to show you, like, a better fruit. Bro, I don't know about all that, but good luck. Three, two, one, go. All right, dude, watch this. Legs. I'm about to go for, like, a furry mode. Are you going to be able to handle this type of magic? Bro, huh? get out of here, you're stupid not furry. Handle this. Get out of here, stupid furry. Bro, why, why am I on the ground? Bro, get out of here. You're going to get clapped right now. You're the one getting clapped, bro. Nah, I don't know what you're talking about. Give me those cheeks, number. Nope, get out of here, furry. 
Come on, I just want I just want to taste you a little bit, bro. Come on. You want to do what to me? I just want to get like a little bit of a taste, bro. You're not getting any taste, you furry. Bro, what? <laughs> yeah, take some of my tail number. Take the L, bro. Get your tail out of here. You're furry, bro. That doesn't count. How do you like my dance moves, huh? Bro, you literally summon furries. Look at there's a little furry swimming around you, bro. I can't handle That's a this. Fish. It's a fish furry. Same difference. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more like it, go ahead and leave a like and sub, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, guys. Because you guys like big, long, pointy things, we're going to have to go ahead and get a sword called the Cavender. Cavendar? I don't know how you say it. it. It just sounds really long and complicated, but I think it's the Cavender. Let's go ahead and uh, get that sword. But there's a big problem. We have to get it from the beautiful pirate, and if I'm not mistaken, the drop chance is like 5%. Maybe like 10% if you have the game pass. But let's go ahead and get it. Oh, wait. Milky Way's right here. Yo, Milky Way. Yo, what's up? Let's go ahead and kill the beautiful pirate, all right, bud? But because you're helping me, I have to pay you in a fruit. So let's go ahead and give you that fruit, all right? Oh my god, you're paying me? Okay, let's see what you're gonna get. I'm paying you in scraps. You're gonna get the most dog water fruit. Here you go, bud. Oh my god, dude. Why are you always giving me, like, the most crappiest one? You haven't pulled out, like, any single good fruits a single time, bozo. Yeah, right. I gave you a dark fruit in yesterday's video. What are you on about? Dark fruit is also mid. Bro, you're mid. All right, guys. This is where we go kill the beautiful pirate. Let's go ahead and kill him. All right, Rexway. As soon as we get in there, we jump on the beautiful pirate. All right? Oh my god, are you a furry now? No, I'm not a furry. Jesus, bro. You have like a furry suit on, dude. Get out of here. Shut up, bozo. All right, let's get in there. All right, let's go kill beautiful pirate. Bye-bye, beautiful pirate. I heard that you like clapping that beautiful pirate number. No, that's a guy, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why you like clapping him. Okay, that's you, bro. That's not me. This beautiful pirate's just getting absolutely destroyed. Wait, what? Okay, come here, beautiful pirate. We'll just go ahead and fast forward because Beautiful Pirate has like two phases and it's really long and annoying. All right, so we're about to kill the Beautiful Pirate. And there we go. We just went ahead and killed a Beautiful Pirate. So the Beautiful Pirate died, as you guys saw. And I went to check if I got it. And I noticed there was no exclamation mark. But I have it right here. So I think the problem was... I already had the Cavender, but I didn't know I had it. But I still never used it before, so let's go ahead and use the Cavender. I pulled a bozo move. But let's go ahead and look at this Cavender real quick. It's big and long, like Rexway likes it. No, it's big and long, just like my sword, bro. No, I think my Cavender is way longer. Hey, 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 don't stick it close to me, buddy. Come on, you don't want a little taste? Come here. No, who says I like tasting swords, bozo? You, remember? I never said that. Here, take this. Whoa, whoa. Yo, Rexway, you're jealous, bro. I got class. Look at my hand. It's behind my back, bro. I'm like high class when I do this, bro. Like, mm, get back, peasant. How about you can take like this sword up your booty hole, bro? Bro, what? 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 Up my what? My what? Uh, I think that was a Discord glitch, bro. Bro, I heard it loud and clear. Number, did you know like a fruit spawned in? A fruit spawned in? What? Yes, sir. Let me just go get it. Let's go get it. Come on. Let's see what fruit we get. Oh, Rexway, did we find the fruit? Yes, sir. It's below me. Wait, it is? Oh, what is this? Bro, a chop fruit? Didn't I just give you one? Yeah, you're giving me like a second chop fruit, which is... Wow, this is so darn mid, bro. Bro, this is actually hilarious. You get two payments and chop fruits. Enjoy it, bozo. Oh my god, I think I'm just gonna go swim inside like the water, bro. Just cry. Go back to your natural habitat, sea furry. Bro, what did you just say? Bro, nothing, nothing, nothing. No, come back whoa, here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So now that I have the Cavender, we have two abilities we need to unlock. As you can see, I have Mastery 1, which means I've never used this sword before. We need to go ahead and unlock Piercing Dash at Mastery 150 and then Scattering Gust at Mastery 300. So we have to go ahead and do the Ligma grind and uh, level up. But first, I'm also going to go ahead and switch to Buddha Fruit because Buddha is the easiest fruit to grind with when I'm using a sword. But this also means I have to go ahead and reset my stats once again. So let's go ahead and put our 2450 into Melee defense and sword and there we go also we might as well switch this tail scarf to the valkyrie hat because the valkyrie gives us way better stats for melee also if i'm not mistaken this sword has the fastest attack speed out of all swords in the game i could be wrong but let's go ahead and see how fast we melt ligma here let's go ahead and you know try to destroy him as fast as we possibly can keep in mind we still have this sword mastery one so it's not dealing as much damage as it possibly can but we could probably melt ligma pretty fast here still all right, Ligma, it's time to die. Let's see how fast we do this. He's so close to dying, but bro, he keeps stunning me. All right, there you go, Ligma. Okay, he died really fast, and now we're leveling up the Cavender. 
we're so far going to mastery. I'm guessing 130. Let's go ahead and see. Actually, with the Cavender, we got to mastery 142, which is super close to the piercing dash mastery 150. Let's go ahead and kill your sugar mama now, Rectway. Hey, 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 you can't kill her, bro. You're not allowed. We need to go ahead and beat the Robux out of her. What? Bro, you know, just do some clapping of the cheeks and she'll just pop out no, some Robux. No, dude, that's not how it works with her. If we clap some cheeks, she'll just give us Robux, right? You gotta realize, dude, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. I need to go take her out. Okay. And then we finally killed the cake queen. And now we're mastering up to mastery 183 on the Cavender now. So we're zooming through this pretty fast. I'm not gonna lie, but it will slow down and get way more annoying. Yo, before we kill Ligma for the second time... Speaking of Valentine's Day, yo, Rectway. What's up? Where's my Valentine's gift, dude? Bro, what are you even talking about? I didn't think that we were rocking like that. Oh, no, 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 not like that, bro. You know, just a homie Valentine kind of thing, you know? Ah, the homie Valentine's. I got you, bro. Just it turn around, dude. Oh, 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 we're, we're already getting this far? This, this fast? Yes, sir. Whoa! So after a lot of cheek clapping off camera, we went ahead and mastered up to mastery 300 exactly, which means we've unlocked both abilities, the piercing dash and the scattering gust. We're gonna go ahead and test it on Milky Way here with our Z ability called piercing dash. Let's go ahead and see what that does. Bro, you just dodged it. Turn off your- <laughs> How do you feel, bro? I just dodged your attacks like it was nothing. Turn that off or we're gonna have to do it the hard way. Hey, yo, I don't like that, dude. Stay away from me. All right, well, let's retry this. So we're going to go ahead and dash. Does 2.7k damage. That's all right. But let's see what the X ability does now. Let's see what this does. Oh, okay. The X ability is kind of nice. But the Z ability has a really fast cooldown, actually. Look, it kind of spammed this. It cools down, like, extremely fast. Look at how it's racing the X ability. It's almost done cooling down. Although it does not break observation, it's not bad, though. You could probably do some sort of combos with this sword. Let's go ahead and test the slashing on Milky Way real quick. So it has a lot of dashes built into the sword. It has two dashes already. It's not bad, but we can make this a lot better. And I know just the fruit for that. Let's go ahead and go to the dealer and talk to him and change to this fruit right here. It is a dark fruit. Let's go ahead and equip that. And since we equipped the dark fruit, we now have to change our stats. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh-oh, I don't have any more stat refunds. Mommy way. Oh, uh, what's up? I need a stat refund. You want a stat refund? Yeah. What are you going to give me for it? A Valentine's Day kit? I mean, gift. Hey, 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 hey. I don't think I want a Valentine's Day kiss. I said gift, bro. What are you thinking of? Okay, okay. It must be like that common Discord glitch that we keep getting. Thanks, Milky Way. Let's go ahead and do our stat reset. We're going to go ahead and put 2415 to blocks fruit, 2415 to sword, and we're going to split between melee and defense right in the middle. This is looking pretty good now. Also, for maximum damage, we're going to go ahead and equip the pale scarf. Let's go ahead and equip that real quick. So let's go ahead and try this dark combo on Rexway. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to go about this, but let's go ahead and try a dimensional slash. He's gonna get sent over there. We could go ahead and try to do something a little bit faster. Maybe like an endless hole would work. He can't really move. If I do this, he's kind of stuck being sucked in all around. Let me go, Bozo. Stop! Bro, I'm sorry. Oh, that was a little easy. But if you mash the buttons a lot faster than I did, you could definitely do some crazy combos. Number, what was that, bro? What do you mean? That was the worst combo that I have ever seen in Blocks Fruits history. Bro, it's not my fault. This is my first time using this sword and trying combos with it. I don't know any combos with it yet, Bozo. How about I combo your mom like this? Bro, no, you are not comboing anything. If you keep that up, I'm going to combo your dad. What? Why would you want to combo my dad for? That's kind of sus. Uh, no reason. Well, if you guys enjoyed the big, long, pointy Cavender as much as Rectway did, go ahead and leave a like and sub, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs> do you guys like big long swords? Well, I'm glad you do because in this video We're gonna be going to our inventory and equipping the Saudi in just a second But as you can see I have my v2 big dark blade and Rex wait, what do you what do you got back there, bro? What are you packing down there? I got this bro. Bro. What is that? Are you judging me right now? Bro, that is small. That is tiny. No, 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 no. You do not make fun of my dark deck. Hold on. I'm about to go see a doctor real quick to fix this problem. You're gonna go see a doctor? What is Rectoy possibly gonna do? This doesn't make any sense. We're in Blocks Fruits. While he's going to see a doctor, I'm gonna go ahead and roll a fruit real quick. Let's go ahead and do that fruit roll and see what we get. I'm gonna give it to Rectoy because I feel bad for his little dagger. Oh, we got an ice fruit. That's not bad. Yo, uh...
What is that? This is my big giant dark dagger. Hey, bro, I don't think that's natural. No, this is very natural. Yeah, look at your dark blade. Look how small it is compared to my dark dagger. Leave me alone. Stop judging me. Now, who has like the smaller one now? All right, shut up, bozo. Here, what happens if I give you an ice fruit, huh? What happens to that little tiny dark dagger? Watch. Go ahead, take that ice fruit. Here. And Ooh. now pull out your dark dagger again, huh? Hey, 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 hey. Come hey, on, show uh, me what you got. Say it with your chest. Let's see it. Hey. Oh, now you have two baby katanas. Wah, your dark dagger's so small. Yo, come here. Whoa, come here, whoa, right whoa, now. whoa, chill. Anyways, ignore that. We gotta go ahead and switch to our Saudi sword. So here's the Saudi. We go ahead and equip it. What's the description? One of these three legendary swords infused with gold. Okay, so this one's infused with gold. I think the other swords are like infused with like souls and ghosts and stuff like that. So like for the triple katanas, we have the Wando sword that's infused with a soul and the Shisui, which is infused with a ghost, as you can see. But this one has gold. So now we're richer than Rectway. Look at Brokeway over there. All poor. Oh, you're calling me poor when I got to every single fruit in the game? Hey, hey, we don't talk about that. I'll, I'll pay you back later. Don't worry. Off camera though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you were going to pay me back like how long ago? Two months ago and you still haven't even given me anything? You know what? Fine. Tell the audience. What do you want, Rectway? I want 20 million Robux from you. Bro, if I had 20 million Robux, I could have bought every single fruit I wanted. Exactly. But you need to put it in my bank account. Here, I'll pay you in another way. Don't worry. Hey, 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 yo, chill. Wait, wait, wait. I thought you wanted this. No, stay back. Oh, you missed. You suck. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at our sword here. We have the Saudi Mastery one. We have two abilities called Sword Dance and True Air Slash. We gotta go ahead and go say what's up to Leaking Ma. Leaking Ma? Yeah. You don't, you don't remember Leaking Ma? It's Ligma's cousin. I don't know who that is, bro. Oh, it's where you go leaking my ball. Stop saying that. Why is Leaky Ma not here? Um, that's a good question. I think he's hanging out with his cousin Ligma right now. Yo, yo, we gotta call him up. We gotta ring them up. You think they're gonna be here anytime soon? I heard that if you lick my ball. Hey, I'm not doing that. Just bring him here, bro. I'm gonna walk out and I walk in. He better be here. All right, let me walk back in. Oh, he's there. All right, good. Wait, I have the wrong fruit equipped. Let me go ahead and come back with Buddha. That's pretty crazy. Now we have Buddha equipped. Don't you guys like the power of editing? Anyways, let's go ahead and transform into Buddha, put on our hockey, and go ahead and clap Ligma here. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how I feel about the damage of this sword. I'm actually really hyped up for next episode because next episode, we're gonna be putting these swords together and getting the true triple katanas finally. And Ligma's actually about to die. Or actually, maybe this is his cousin, Leakingma. Rectway actually likes that one a little bit better. Nah, 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 dude. I don't even like... None of them. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Anyways, we masteried up after killing him. Let me guess mastery 138 here. And I guessed wrong. The mastery is 142, which means we are super close to mastery 150, which is the sword dance ability. But now we got to go to Rectway Sugar Mama and go ahead and clap her cheek. She's going to give us the mastery we need. She's going to teach me all the mastery. Dude, if you keep talking about my sugar mama, you're going to die. Bro, you're not going to do anything. What are you going to do? Poke me with a yeah. little dark dagger? <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Take me to her now, bro. It was just a prank. Rectway went to go grab water. So while he's AFK, I'm going to go ahead and clap his sugar mama's cheeks behind his back and he wouldn't even know. We just killed the K queen and now we masteried up. Mastery 181, which means we've unlocked the sword dance ability. Rectway still isn't back yet, but little does he know his sugar mama's cheeks got clapped. And if he stays AFK, I'm going to have to go ahead and switch teams here and, you know, clap his next. I used portal fruit and brought his body back over here. We're going to go ahead and test the Saudi sword on him while he's AFK. He didn't even know what's happening to him. He's going to be like, how did I get here as he comes back? But let's test the first ability called Swords Dance. And we're going to go ahead and hold it. Why am I posted up like this, bro? Why do I like tense up? Let's see what this does to him. Wait a second, that's kind of mid. Hold up, that only dealt 200 damage. Did I do this wrong? Let me go ahead and see this again. All right, let's try this again. Oh, Wait, I'm doing a different pose now. What just happened? Was that like a glitch? Bro, this is kind of mid. What the heck is this? This Saudi sword is doo-doo. Wait, Rectway's moving. Oh, number. What are you trying to do to me, bro? I went AFK. You're touching me. Bro, what? I wasn't doing that. I'm just testing the Saudi sword on you. How about you turn around the way that you are so I can just clap your cheeks like this, buddy? Hey, hey, chill. What, are you trying to threaten me with a good time? I mean, a bad time? What? Okay, nah, bro, you're his size. There's no way this sword is that bad. I have to be doing something wrong. Maybe I have to just go around him in a circle. Okay, 2.9k damage. Guys, I'm not gonna cap. That is terrible. 
dog water for how hard it is to get these swords because you have to wait like i don't even know like three hours just to get these from a dealer maybe it's not worth it for 2.9k damage i bet rectoy's little tiny dark dagger deals more damage what are you talking about my dark dagger for your little tiny dark dagger bro a little tiny little one inch dark dagger you know one inch dark dagger deals more damage to your mom than anything else shut up bozo as of right now the saudi still has a chance to revive itself with the true air slash at mastery 300 guys so what i'm gonna do is go around clapping other bosses cheeks such as elephant and hope for the best while killing elephant i learned something that if you use the z ability with the Saudi sword, it actually can deal damage. It didn't work that time, but you're able to actually deal damage while you're in Buddha form. And it's not bad while you're in Buddha, but I probably wouldn't recommend using the Z ability by itself. You gotta have some sort of like combo with it, I guess. We just killed the K Queen, which means we mastered up to mastery 303. Do so you guys know what time it is? Rexway, you know what time it is. What time is it? It's time for you to take me to the mansion so you can meet Leaky Bum. Um, I don't even want to know who that is, but okay. That's okay. Just go over there and I'll, I'll make sure you meet Leaky Bum. Nah, 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 bro. You need to chill out with everything. All right, all right, bro. Don't worry. I'm going to hit you with the true air slash. Let's see what this does. 2.8k damage is not bad for an ability that looked like it had a good amount of range but this ability i need to master the z ability maybe i'm just doing it wrong and maybe i suck at it 2.7k damage you have to like land every single slash in order to get the max damage out of it but let's go ahead and try it one more time let's do a true air slash on rectway let's go ahead and do a slash like this Okay, we have somewhat okay damage, but the Saudi sword is all right. I'm more excited for the true triple katana combo. Once we get that, we'll be clapping Rectway's cheeks left and right. Isn't that right, Rectway? With the true triple katanas, I could chop off Rectway's fins on each side. I got a sword for this fin. I got a sword for hey, that hey, fin. Hey, dude. How about you take some of this, bro? Get out of here. And you're about to take my soul guitar. Bro, you're about to take my true air slash and my little dashes here. That sucks. That ain't gonna do anything. Even my tiny little dagger will deal more damage than you. Shut up, bro. You might be dealing more damage than the Saudi sword, but you're not going to stand a chance once I get that true triple katana. Once I combo it, you're done. What are you doing up there, Bozo? Get down. You have to also realize I have 7 million bounty. If you really want to get your cheeks clop, I'll clop you. What the heck? Are you threatening me with a good time again? What do you mean a good time? It's not supposed to be a good time. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Is that why you keep threatening my cheeks and not me? Oh my god, bro. Don't even talk to me. While Rexway goes and cries and thinks about what he said, if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more like it and are hyped for the next episode, go ahead and leave a like and sub and I'll catch you guys in the next. Peace. In the last episode, we leveled up the Saudi sword and we got it up to mastery 303, which means if we go to our inventory, we have the Saudi at mastery 303, the Wando from 301, the Shisui at 300. That means we've unlocked every single true triple sword to mastery 300s, which means we could finally put them together and get the true triple katana. I'm gonna have my good friend Sugarway show me where the true triple katana is and why are you a sea furry with the little sea furry buddy swimming around you hey hey hey! i was clapping specs's cheeks like a second ago so i needed a transform oh so you need to transform into a c furry v4 to clap specs cheeks speaking of spec where is he <laughs> okay he's crying because he clapped his cheeks since we're already here rexway let me go ahead and roll a fruit for you let's see what we get you don't say anything oh, don't say anything you're gonna you're gonna oh oh okay never mind you just get to keep this anyways here it's all yours, bro. Oh my god, this is mid. Here it goes, man. You can have this piece of crap. All right, number. We gotta go to, like, the second seat. Okay, let's go. Show me where to go. All right, you gotta get in my portal hole right now, buddy. Oh, okay. So we gotta go back to the port and go talk to the guy. He's gonna take us back to the second seas. All right, I'm actually curious. So here we are in the second seas. And what is that spec? What is oh, on your back? Hell. Is that a tail? Dude, there's a sword on my back. What do you mean? That is not a sword. Dude, this is a sword. Bro, that is a giant tail. What are you trying to do with that? Are you trying to seduce sex demon or something? What is wrong with my tail, Number Skull? You've got a tail. You made it pointy for a reason. What are you trying to, like, put it in? Bro, I don't know. What are you talking about? This is not a tail. It's an arrow. You what have you a giant... With that shut tail, up! Man. All right, Spec, shut up. Rexway, show me where to go now. Okay, we have to go to Green Zone, and why is Spec trying to fight us? Spec, stop trying to dough on us. Take us to the Green Zone. Okay, so we're here. Where do we go now? You need to go to, like, the top of, like, the stem number. The top of the stem. I have the magma fruit, and I have to go ahead and fly up here, and apparently he's up here. There's an NPC at the top of this. 
this. Okay, this is really weird. I had to climb up the highest point in the green zone, and there's an NPC up here. Yo, Nubber, he looks like you. You see, like, that Tommy that he has? Bro, that's a big belly. It kind of does look like you. I said it looks like you. No, no, it does look like you, bro. Let's go ahead and talk to the mysterious man. Let's see what he has to say. Hello, fellow swordsman. It appears you've mastered all legendary swords. Indeed, you're right, handsome, mysterious man. Do you wish to learn the true triple katana style for two million bucks? Yeah, of course. There we go. We got the true triple katana. Let's go ahead and equip it. Oh, I did not mean to talk to you. Let's go ahead and equip it and see. Oh my gosh, there we go. We got the mythical sword, true triple katana. I've been waiting so long for this. And as you can see, we're holding three swords. We go ahead and equip it. We look sick. This sword goes up to mastery 350 and we're only mastery one. We have a long way to go with this sword. But as you can see, I got my purple blade up here. That's the Shisui. I got the Saudi in this hand and then I think that's the Wando down there. But this is really cool looking. Spec, what are you doing to me, Spec? Yo, what are you guys doing? You guys are fighting. Chill. Why are you monkeys battling each other out on the top of this stem? We're supposed to be friendly here. We're getting the true triple katana. I have claimed the shaft number. This is a root. This is a vine. What are you talking about? This is the shaft of the biggest vine I've ever seen. Okay, Spec, you're being weird, bro. I'm going back down to the dirty docks, and I'm going to go ahead and go back to the third sea. You know why they call it the dirty docks number? Why? Because Rexland and Mara did the dirty on this dock. Okay. I didn't even realize we got new titles after we got the swords and equipped them. We got Demon Eye title and the Hurricane title. That's pretty cool titles. I'm not going to lie. Let's go ahead and talk to the captain and go back to the third seas now. So here we are back in front of the mansion in the third sea. I'm going to go ahead and take out the true triple katanas and activate my hockey. And oh my gosh, this looks so cool. I just have a bunch of auras on the swords and I have three of them. So it's just showing auras everywhere. We're going to go ahead and test this on milky way wherever he is yo milky way where are you yo 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 what do you want come over there i need you to be my test dummy i need to go ahead and see how much damage these true triple katanas deal i heard they deal the most amount of damage compared to every single sword in the game and that might be including the cursed dual katanas but let's go ahead and see okay whoa 4.9k damage with just three slashes that is actually really strong i'm not gonna lie guys this actually could be the strongest sword in the game let me go ahead and do this one more time just hit him with all three this time whoops i messed up all right one two three 4.8k about six slashes he's already down to quarter health and now he's healing up but i can see why these swords would be the strongest swords in the game it's ridiculously strong i guess the only thing left to do is take this sword from mastery one to mastery 350 so we gotta go ahead and say hello to leaking ma or ligma yo spec yeah have you ever met leaking ma ligma no leaking ma it's his cousin there's the boss named leaking ma yeah leaking ma leaking ma yeah come over here look that's ligma no it's where you leaking my balls that's Rickway's job. That ain't my job. How about you take some of this? Bro, you guys fight it out there. I have to go ahead and kill Ligma, but wait a second. I got the wrong fruit on. Let me go ahead and switch to Buddha real quick. Oh, whoa, would you look at that? Now we have Buddha equipped. Crazy. Power of editing. Let's go ahead and shift and see how fast we can melt Ligma with the true triple katana. I'm actually curious. The damage is insane right now. He's already down to half health in about three sets of swings. So he is about to get melted in like, I don't know, less than a couple seconds here. All right, Ligma's about to die. There we go. That was super fast. So now let's see what mastery we get. I'm going to say maybe 143 mastery. I'm just going to take a wild guess. The first ability is called Wolf Bang Rush. Sounds like a furry move. Why is the first move a furry move? Oh, we got mastery 137. So we got to go ahead and kill the Cake Queen next, aka Rexway Sugar Mama. All right, it's time to kill your cake queen sorry rexway she's gonna get her cheeks clapped here bro why yo spec is hopping in on this too spec i don't know you like the sugar queen like that oh my god what oh my gosh dude we are melting this cake queen insane like look at how fast she's about to die right here just gotta go ahead and swing a couple more times and there we go we got our mastery we've unlocked mastery 150 at least we're mastery 185 which means we've unlocked the wolf fang rush rexway go ahead and take us to the mansion so i can test my wolf fang rush on you bro so rexway is gonna be the test dummy let's go ahead and hold our z ability oh we changed positions look at this we're holding our two swords in front of us let's go ahead and do this i'm pretty sure this is exactly zoro's move it looks exactly like his stance and everything all right oh my gosh 2.6k damage but if i'm not mistaken this looks like a thing you can use on multiple people at once spec go ahead and stand next to rectway and the cooldown's really fast it's already back up let's go ahead and see how much damage we deal to both of them 6.1k now that's what we're talking about we deal a good amount of damage and these swords hurt so much like look at it there what are you doing spec <laughs> i was being your test dummy um why were you bending down? You told me to do that when you're doing tests on me. 
I did not tell you to do that. When you did test on me, you were like, make sure to bend over. Th no! Spec is just being super sus. And while Spec is killing Rectway, I'm gonna go ahead and test this on Spec over here real quick. Spec, I need you to stop moving for me. I wanna see how much damage this sword does if I just smack you a couple more times now that I have it a higher mastery. 6.6k just by swinging now. And we don't even have this sword to mastery 300 yet. It's just gonna get more and more damage as the mastery goes up. Rectway and Spec are just beefing it over there. What are you guys doing? Why do you guys hate each other so much? We're fighting over you number you like me that much spec what you like reward us after the videos what it's do you like mean a time okay you're being weird bro i don't do any of this you're just making this up in the meantime we're gonna go ahead and fast forward and get up to mastery 350 and see what the next ability does and see how much damage this sword deals i am super hyped for this after a long, painful grind, we finally hit mastery 352 with the TTK, which means we've unlocked the Dragon Hurricane ability. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this does. First, I want to use it on Rexway. Let's see what this does. Wait, I have him allied. Whoa, whoa! That is sick. Hold on. All right, let's try that again. I'm going to test it on Rexway here. Oh, sent him back? Oh my gosh, dude. What? That is insane. I could go ahead and dash into him while he's in that tornado. So if I combo him, he will take some good amount of damage. And if I just hit him a couple times, the damage has been amplified now that we've climbed mastery. So if I like hit him three swings, 5.3k damage with full body hockey on. Let's go ahead and test the combo real quick. Go ahead and with, hit him with that. There we go. That is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, this damage is ridiculous. The true triple katanas definitely have the most damage in the game from what I can tell. But the CDK also has some really cool abilities as well. I'm gonna go ahead and test it on spec that doesn't have full body hockey and see the damage difference. Oh my gosh, spec is just taking all the damage. 3.9k and if I hit him with a slash, oh my gosh, he is almost dead. He's at 7k damage taken and he is at like a sliver of HP. I'm glad I got the true triple katanas finally because it was absolutely worth the grind. If you guys enjoy this video and you guys want to see more like it, go ahead and leave a like and sub and I'll catch you in the next. Peace. Yeah, yeah, you guys know the deal. I am still locked out of my account, and it has been officially eight to nine days, I believe, since I've been locked out. Roblox customer support really sucks that bad. Anyways, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and get the run Goku sword on an alt account because I can't get it on my main account, clearly. I'm still out of that. I have Rectway right here, and he's gonna supervise for me. So, since Rectway's gonna be watching me, you know, taking care of me, I think I should reward him with the fruit. He can't really talk right now because he's kind of sick. If you guys checked out my last video, his voice was just destroyed. So poor Rectway, I'm going to give you a get well gift. Come over here, Rectway. He can hear me though. He's just not going to talk because he's scared. And his voice is like broken. Bro, shut up. I am not scared to talk to you. Look at you, you speck little wannabe. Oh my gosh. All right, just save your voice for your next video, bro. Your voice is gone. You know what? Maybe because your voice sounds like that, perhaps you've been smoking too much. Get it? Oh my god, I don't even smoke, dude. Smoke fruit, take it. I think it's a sign, bro. Even though you don't smoke, you sound like a smoker. Shut up, dude. And get out of here. Get your little penguin freaking booty out of here. There, there, Rexway. No need to talk. Just save your voice and take me to the ice palace where we have to get the Rengoku sword. All right, now that we're here, we got to go all the way up here and kill the ice admiral who's inside this castle. In order to get the Rungoku sword, we have to get a drop from him. He drops like keys, and in order to get the sword, we need those keys. And it looks like he's not here. Ahem. <clears throat> Good thing I have a Milky Way to uh, summon him. Oh my god. Shut up, dude. And just hurry up and kill him. Oh, he's there. Awesome. Let's go ahead and clap his cheeks real quick. Easy. Yeah, he's gonna get destroyed. I'm using the light fruit because that's what I use to grind on this account. Let's go ahead and kill him. He's almost dead. Come on, just die already, Ice Admiral. Okay, one more shot here. All right, one more. There we go. We got the library key. So this key is actually used for this door right here. But um, this is for a fighting style. We don't need this key. We need another key, actually. So we're going to go ahead and keep farming him until we get the hidden key. The library key is not what we needed. Bruh, I really got the library key? You know what? Rexway, come down here. I have, a, I have something to do with this key. I need you to turn around. I need to open a special door. Hey, yo, stop, dude. It's okay. You're just going to feel a little pinch, dude. Get away from me, bro. I don't like you that way. Bruh, this is a joke. I have two library keys in my inventory here. We just got to keep killing him, I guess. There's here we go. We got the hidden key, as you guys can see. I think they're two different colors. Yeah, there's a silver key with a hidden key and the blue library key, which unlocks a fighting style. I think that is death step in there. But let's go ahead and use a hidden key. There's actually a door right here you have to go through to get the Rengoku sword. And there's a chest here. And there we go. We obtained the Rengoku secret sword. If we go to our inventory and we go ahead and equip it, we have the sword and... Ooh. 
it looks so nice, but bro, why is he holding it like this? The devs knew what they were doing making me hold a sword like this. Rekwe, do you want to taste a Rengoku sword? Hey, hey, no, I do not want to taste your Rengoku sword number. Poor Rekwe, he's just so enthusiastic to taste it. How about you taste my dark blade, bro? Hey, yo, yo, it's just a prank, bro. Get away from me. In order to level up this sword to the max ability I possibly can, we have to go ahead and go to the third seas. But there's a big problem once we get there. Rexway, go ahead and teleport us there. So we are now in familiar territory. We are back at the mansion in the third sea. And the problem is, if we run over to our good friend Ligma, Ligma closed the door on us. He doesn't even know us anymore. We're like strangers to him. I'm not on my number school account because because Roblox took it down for some reason. I don't know why, but they did it to me. I guess since Ligma doesn't like us anymore, we have to go ahead and go back to the Bloxford dealer and do this the good old fashioned way. We have to go ahead and equip our Buddha fruit, wherever that is, there it is. We go ahead and equip Buddha, and we gotta change our stats for Buddha as well. So let's go ahead and buy a refund token real quick. Oh, we are out of Robux. Luckily for me, I know a Sugar Way. Sugar Way. I have to ask him in the chat because his voice is completely gone. It just explodes exploded and sugar way gifted me that stat refund thanks sugar way you can't hear me right now but there you go thanks sugar way let's go ahead and go to stats go ahead and refund 2450 we're gonna go ahead and put that into sword defense and i guess the rest can go into melee it's not that important there but we should be chilling now Rector's gonna go ahead and take us to a sugar mama, and that's where we're gonna go ahead and get our mastery. We're mastery one, and we need to get to mastery 150 for the demon slayer ability, and then mastery 350 for the burning slash ability. Go ahead and take us there, sugar way. Where the heck is the sugar mama? Oh, she just appeared. All right, let's go ahead and transform and kill the sugar mama. Not even gonna lie, for an account that's this low level, the damage is not bad with the Rengoku sword. It has like a little dash built in, and it's pretty good still. I wonder how much damage I'd deal on my main account if I'm dealing this much damage with an alt account. I am surprised, actually. This sugar mama's about to get clapped, and I am curious to see what mastery we get with this. Okay, we hit mastery 153, so which means we've unlocked the first ability called Demon Slayer. That is actually crazy. Wait, why is Rexway pull out his little dark dagger, bro? Put that thing away. I decided to test this right now because I'm actually excited. The Demon Slayer ability sounds pretty cool. I know it's from the anime Demon Slayer, clearly because, I mean, this is Rengoku. Who else could it be from? So let's go ahead and try this on him and let's see the damage 3.7k damage is not bad at all for such a low level person and no good accessories this is not bad and the slashes oh my gosh i almost killed rectway and i do not want to do that because he has a big juicy bounty of 7.1 million we don't want to take that away from him. Oh my gosh, why is this laser beam coming out of my... Bro, I'm not even going to talk about it. Okay, as you guys can see, this does a good amount of damage only at Mastery 153. We just have to get to Mastery 350 to unlock the Burning Slash ability. So speaking of that, we have to go ahead and Mastery this up. So we're going to go ahead and kill the elephant here. Wherever he is. There he is. Awesome. Let's go ahead and fast forward to Mastery 350 where we destroy him. Oh my gosh, this looks so sus when you take out your sword and put it back. Like, what is this, bruh? So while we're grinding, Rekway has informed me that he is able to roll a fruit. Rekway, what did you get? A love fruit. You're lying. Drop it. Oh, bro, what? Uh, Buddha? No, you're lying. Drop that one. Oh my gosh. There's no way. And he put a little emoji? Bro, get out of here. You're trolling. Put your little tiny dark dagger away, you creep. After a really long grind, we finally hit mastery 350, which means we're gonna go to the front of the mansion and go ahead and test this on Sugar Way. I am super excited because this took forever to grind. Let's go ahead and test this on Rectway now that we have the burning slash ability. Let's go ahead and hit him with the X ability and see what this does. Oh, it throws a fire path and it deals 4.7k damage? That is actually really solid. Hold on. If we go ahead and use the Z ability on him, that'll get him down to half health, right? I did let him heal a bit. Oh my gosh, he's actually a little bit below half health. That is some good damage. If I hit him with a burning slash, okay, he might die. He might die. No, 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 get out of there, Rectway. Oh my gosh, I almost killed him. But as you guys can see, the Rengoku sword is actually a lot more powerful than I expected. I'm not even max level yet on this account, so that is pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie, guys. For a sword that you could get in the second C, I would highly recommend it because it seems super easy to get and it does a great amount of damage. And I'm not even gonna lie, it's the Rengoku sword from Demon. Slayer. It looks sick. Like, I mean, look at this little handle. You have, like, the, the flame Hashira thing on there and everything. It looks really
really sick. And you know what? It's been about two hours since we went from Mastery 1 to Mastery 350. So you know what time it is? It's time to roll a fruit. Let's go ahead and go back to the mansion and see what we get, actually. The second time in this video. Come on, Blocks Fruit Dealer. You better give me something good. Let's go ahead and see what we get here. A sand fruit? You know what? That's not actually too bad. I'll go ahead and keep that. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more like it, go ahead and leave a like and sub, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, and Roblox, if you guys are watching my video, give me my account back. Please ignore the two giant floating balls next to me. But in this video, we're going to go ahead and go upgrade a sword. But it's a little weird because I have never done this before. This specific sword, known as the Buddy Sword, is already masteried up before. I have it mastery 264, which is unusual, right? Typically, I use swords that I've only used with mastery one how do you like my sword put away your sword why are you holding it like that i just realized why is the buddy sword being held like that and why does your thing have a face on it why why are both of you pulling out your buddy swords on me are we all gonna touch buddy swords or what's the move hey, hey, hey bro i was not trying to insinuate that then why is everybody putting their swords around in the triangle it means only one thing let's touch swords together guys oh my gosh bro did you just move no, 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 I didn't move. No, no, no. Hey, 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 you broke rule number one. You're not supposed to move when the swords are touching. Wait, what? When was that a rule? Now you owe me a fee, which means you gotta go roll a fruit. Bro, are you serious right now? Yes, I'm dead serious. Now roll. Okay, okay, okay. I got you a fruit. Let's go ahead and see what we get here. Oh, you're gonna love this one. This should cover my fee quite nice. What is it? Oh my god, it's so trash. Bro, what? It's a sand fruit. They're godly. Ow! It's literally trash, and I hope that she kills you. No, she won't kill nothing, bro. All I gotta do is just smack her with a sword and ba- Wait, she has observation on. Okay, okay. Why? Hey, she's killing me. Chill. Okay, before we use this sword, we have to fix our stats. Let me go ahead and look at my stats, and I have stuff into block through melee defense. We gotta switch that to sword and equip Buddha for this. So let's go ahead and buy a refund token here. We'll have 52 bow bucks left after this transaction, because you know I am broke. Skull, not sugar way. Skull. <clears throat> sugar way. Yeah. Let's go ahead and hit refund. Ow, ow, I'm getting clapped out here. I just refunded and I'm about to get clapped because of my health reset. I'm gonna go ahead and put stats into melee, defense, sword, and now we have our stats. Then we have to go ahead and go to the Blockster dealer and switch our fruit. And we're gonna go ahead and equip the Buddha fruit. There we go, Buddha fruit is activated now. But let's go ahead and test this buddy sword and see how much damage it does. But why am I getting slapped left and right? We gotta chill out here. Rexway, would you like to be my test dummy? Yo, I don't wanna be your test dummy. I thought we touched buddy swords. I thought we were hey, one. Hey, hey, stop, dude. I'm not try to touch your sword again since you broke it bro what no come on it was just a prank dude i just realized these things have little tiny faces on them why do our swords have faces on them cat stop smacking me bruh go away be gone oh my gosh rectway are you ready to get slapped by my buddy sword no i'm not ready for this bro okay well too bad you're about to get it because we're gonna make some sushi out of you mr c furry huh sushi yeah, you're you're a sea furry. You have the the shark race, right? If you get closer to me, I'm about to slap you up with my big giant buddy sword. No, no, let's just test the damage here. Hey, 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 chill. Bro, did you see how much damage that was? That was three slashes. It dealt 7k damage, and you're already down to half health. That is ridiculous. This sword is mastery 264, that which is still pretty high level, but oh my gosh, for an auto attack ability, just a click ability, that is crazy. Let's go ahead and try the heat slash on him and see how much damage that does. 3.9k, wait, 4 point, it keeps ticking, 5k damage, and you're already down to that low of health, bro? Oh my gosh, you're about to get clapped, Rector, you're looking juicy right now. I'm about to clap your mom if you keep talking about this, bro. Bro, chill, chill. Oh my gosh, I'm losing a good amount of health just from that one ability. Why is your sugar mama sword so strong? Because I fed her good. You definitely did. She is big mama. Oh my god, shut up, bro. I also heard the buddy sword is crazy for PvP, but I can see it. This has like a stun ability and I could go ahead and go to you over there in air and hit you with that. You went so much further than I expected. I'm not even gonna lie. Where are you? Oh, you're behind me. Oh, yeah? How about you go inside of my freaking hole, buddy? Bro, I'm not going in your hole. Stop it. Don't put me in any portal holes. Actually, you know what? I think I do need to go in your portal hole. Go ahead and take me to the cake queen real quick. Or big mom. Yo, Same yo, thing. yo. I was not insinuating that you go in my hole again, bro. Chill. You're sus. You invited me. I was joking. You're not supposed to say yes. Too late. Let's go ahead and say what's up to the cake queen. Because we got to go ahead and level up to mastery 300 in order to unlock the lightning wave ability. And as you can see, 
I think Cake Queen has the biggest sword of all. Oh my gosh. Yo, Rexway, how does it feel knowing that your sugar mama has a bigger sword than you? Oh my gosh, she's about to clap me. How do you feel that she has a bigger sword than you? That's what I asked you. You have to answer the question first. She does not have like a sword. What do you mean she doesn't have a sword? She has the biggest sword I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, you guys are comboing her. You know what? We'll just go ahead and fast forward to Mastery 300. Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. Sugar Mama has like no choice, bro. I'm about to transform into like a freaking furry outside. What? You're gonna turn into a furry? What? What's going on? Where are you? I'm above you. Bro, you're a golden furry. You can't go in there. What? How'd you get in there? What? That doesn't make any sense. That hole wasn't big enough for you to go in. Well, I made it go in, bro. Oh my gosh. You know what they say? They say anything is possible. My brain, it hurts. We're at Mastery 277, which means we're super close to our lightning wave. We're gonna go ahead and keep continuing here while that person does that. And let's go ahead and say what's up to our best friend Ligma while we farm him and the cake queen. We gotta show them who has the real biggest sword here. So we're here at Ligma's den, and I don't see Ligma anywhere. Bro, what? How is he behind me? You know what, Ligma? It's time for your turn to get collapsed. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, maybe I have to shift into Buddha to clap him. He's talking some real deal now. We'll go ahead and fast forward to where I clap him. Oh my gosh, this is a lot faster than I expected. I didn't even need to fast forward because he's about to die in one more swing here. And there we go. We got the buddy sword at 286. Ligma is jealous of my giant sword. So is Rectway. Why would I be jealous of your two incher, bro? Two? This is more like two yards. What are you talking about? More like two and a half yards. No, I'm kidding, bro. You wish it was. Okay, come here. Come here. We need to have a talk, all right, Rectway? Just a, just a simple you know, conversation. This is, your, this is your size in real life number. What? Okay, you're, you're done. You're done. You're done, Bozo. Hey, hey, hey. Stop. You're done, Bozo. I was joking. That's what I thought. Your number. Yeah. I found myself a fruit. You found a fruit? Where? Come over here. Oh, okay. Wait, is it this close? Wait, Yeah, what? bro. It's your favorite. Bro, cat is causing havoc back there. A bomb fruit? Bruh, you could keep this for yourself. You know, don't spend it all in one place. All right, bud? I don't think I need this. You know where this belongs? This also belongs with your channel down here, bro. <laughs> Have fun. Oh. <laughs> Cat stole it, bro. But besides that, I finally got the buddy sword to mastery 300, which means I've unlocked the X ability known as Lightning Wave. Rexway, go ahead and take me to the front of mansion so we could do some testing with my sword and you. Oh my god, you're acting really weird, bro. I don't think I want to talk to you. Come on, bro. You want to be tested on by my buddy sword? Don't act like it. I'm about to test you with my dark dagger. No, 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 no. First thing I have for you is a heat slash. Next thing I have is the Lightning Wave. Oh, that sends you flying. The damage is not bad. Let's go ahead and try that with the combo. I do know the buddy sword is crazy for comboing and PvPing in general. So let's go ahead and test it on the sugar way here. First things first is we're going to go ahead and hit him with the Z ability, then the X ability, and then we're going to try to dash. Oh my gosh, he goes way further than I expected. I'm not even going to lie. But as you can see, it does a good amount of damage. He has full hockey on and some resistance because he has shark V4 or the sushi V4 race. This is overpowered. So there's another combo we can try. Cat did tell me about this one. It's the buddy sword and god human combo. You go Z, X, then Rexway gets shot up to the sky. Then you go ahead and use your god human thing. And then he should be dead. Yeah. Wow. That is actually a really good combo. You said don't hold the god human C. Well, either way, it still works. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more like it, go ahead and leave a like and sub and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Do you guys know what is the strongest sword in the first C? And if you don't already know by the title, it is of course the Saber Sword. In this video, we're gonna be getting the Saber Sword on this account, cause I already have it on my main. Getting it from V1 all the way up to V2, basically awakening it and making it super strong. But this sword is also not like any other swords in the first C. There is a whole quest line and storyline to get this sword. And I'm gonna have a special friend help me out with it because it's a little confusing. So let's go ahead and meet him at the jungle real quick. So we're pulling up to the jungle and we're gonna go meet up with him wherever he is. Oh, he's right over there. Yo, Sugar Way. Bro, why are you dressed up like that? Uh, you know, because I'm an emo spec, you know, the YouTuber spec. Gross, dude. That guy is ugly. Bro, be nice to him. He has feelings. No, he doesn't. Right away, bro, listen. 
I know he doesn't get women, but you gotta be nice to him. Okay, 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 fine, dude. I'll be nice. Anyways, this is the YouTuber everyone knows and loves, Spec. So let's go ahead and do this saber quest. Rexway, how do we start off this quest? All right, so we need to punch like a bunch of buttons. Oh, so it's like a puzzle. So we gotta do some buttons here. Where's the first button? In my pen. I mean, uh, over here. What? What? Huh? Over here, bro. Look. Oh, okay. Let me just go ahead and smack it. Oh, it turns green. So there's like another one over here. Okay, okay. There's another one back here. All right, awesome. We got that one. What's the next one? Well, you have to follow me. All right, I got you. Bro, come over me. It's a little bit hidden. Oh, it's hidden right there? Okay. Wait. Oh, it is pretty well blended in there. I'm not gonna lie. So you just smack it right there. Awesome. Now, where's this last one? Isn't there like one or two more? I think there's one more and it's by the tree. Oh, I th it's, it's right here. There's one right here. Is this the button? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That one's it. Okay, we press the buttons. Now what? Follow me. We're gonna go in like this little house area? Yes, sir. Okay, what do we have over here? Why are we over here? Whoa, a little trap door opened. What the heck? Lands, wait, what does it say? Lands of sand, my home does stand. Now dark and grim, bring light within. I'm guessing you have to do something with this torch, speaking of light, right? Yeah, so let me just light my world into your- Bro, stop it. We're not flirting. We need to go ahead and do this quest line, bro. Dude, you're my homie. I'm not trying to flirt with you, okay? I'm giving that brotherly love. Oh, okay. I got you, bro. I got you. You know, there's nothing wrong with tucking the homies in goodnight, right? Exactly. Now get in this house with me. <laughs> hey, yo. So what do we do here? I, I can't go in, Rectway. You just went in through like a magic wall. Well, try the torch. Try the torch. What do you mean? Oh, it's lighting it on fire. Okay, so is this thing gonna disappear? Oh, it burned. Okay. What does this say on the wall right here? If power you seek, fill the cup from a leak. Left alone in the cold is a story to be told. Oh, they're giving riddles, Rekwe. Do you know the riddles? Yeah, grab that. Oh, okay. We gotta go straight to, like, the snow village. Oh, okay. The snow village. Not bad. And what do we do here? Pour it right here. Oh, oh, the leak. I get it now. The cold and the leak. Well, that's why... Oh, this all makes sense now. You know what else leaks? What? My pants. I'm scared. I don't think it should be leaking, Rectoy. Come over here, number. I'm coming. Where are we going now? All the way up here. Okay. Where, wait, where are you? Oh, okay. There you are. Thank you so much. Please meet up with my son. I'm sure he'll reward you. Wait, he took my water. I gave him water. Okay. Where's his son now? We're supposed to find his son. Why are you so close yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to, like, um, go to Pirate Village with me. Why is his son over at Pirate Village? Because this is me. <laughs> the rich man. This is you, Sugarway. Let me talk to the rich man. Thanks for helping my father. But a mob leader has stolen all my money. Please find him and take him down as soon as possible so I can reward you. Right away, someone mugged this man. Where is the mob leader? That's so easy, bro. Oh, it's the guy in the cave, huh? All right, I don't know how I'm gonna get there besides riding my flamingo. Your flamingo sucks. Yeah, right, bro. It's way faster than you are. What do you mean? I literally reached this island before you. No, you're tripping. You're seeing things. Anyways, do I just have to beat this guy up and give the guy his lunch money back? Exactly. All right, bro. Take that. <laughs> that was a one shot. Oh, we got the quest done. Talk to the rich man at the top of our screen. So what's up with this rich man? He's gonna reward us somehow. What's the reward here? Thank you for getting my money back. You can keep this ancient relic as a reward. Ancient relic? Oh. What do you think about my shiny new relic, Rectway? It's made out of pure solid gold. It's more than anything you can afford. Bro, don't talk to me. I'm like the richest boxer player, but let me take it back to the jungle. Okay, what do we do at the jungle now? Now shine your freaking thing on this. Oh, there's a mark on the door now. Do I just put it in here? Oh, it opened. Yeah, stick it in. Stick it in. Wait, what? What? Huh? Hey, hey, I didn't say anything weird, bro. Okay, are you sure? Because I, I could have sworn you said something sus. Dude, I meant stick it in the door. I threw up. You threw up? That's what I was thinking. What? Okay, never mind, bro. Anyways. Oh, Shanks is here. Awesome. So... Shanks from the anime. If you guys don't know who Shanks is, you guys should probably definitely go watch the anime. Anyways, let's go ahead and clap his cheeks real quick. Go ahead and hit him with the love fruit, and he should drop us the saber. I don't know how many times we have to kill him. Oh, I guess the first time. Item drop, saber. Go ahead and look at our inventory, and there it is. It's a legendary sword for the first C. So this is what the saber looks like. It's a pretty cool looking sword, especially when you activate your hockey. It's just a pure pitch black sword. But obviously, since we just got it, it's Mastery 1 right now, and we don't have any of the abilities unlocked. And to awaken it to V2, we obviously have to get the Masteries ready. We gotta level it up. I'm gonna do a little cheating method and go to the third C to level this up, because why not? Why make it harder on myself? You guys aren't the third C yet. It sucks for you guys. You guys are gonna have to farm these little monkeys over here. Just gotta smack them a few times. Oh, I gotta put some points into the sword. Well, let's go ahead and buy that stat refund real quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and change our points up here. We're gonna go ahead and drop a thousand into melee because we're not gonna really need that much energy. But we definitely wanna put at least two thousand into defense and sword. And probably the rest into defense just because of the extra health and 
throw the rest in the sword. So that's what our stats are looking like because we're not maxed out just yet. But with that being done, let's go ahead and go into the third C, Sugarway. Now that we're in the third C, we gotta go ahead and level up this sword. So we are gonna go to the ice cream land and clap wrecked away Sugar Mama's cheeks. But before we even think about doing that, we might as well roll a fruit since we're here anyways. Hope I get something good. Oh, I got something pretty decent. Yo, Sugar Way, I got a gift for you, bro. What is your gift? I got you a flame fruit. I don't want this. What? Why? It's horrible. It's one of the best fruits in the game. Relax. Gosh, bro. You gave me a fruit that's only 250k value. You're an elf, right? Bro, appreciate it, bozo. No. Whatever, dude. Just take me to your sugar mama at this point. Bro, why you want me to take you to my princess, dude? Because I got to slay her. I got to go ahead and redeem this sword up to some good levels here. You're not supposed to redeem her. I'm the one that's supposed to redeem her. Hey, chill, chill. Put away those cursed dual katanas. Let's just go ahead and we can talk about this. I'm just going to do a little bit of rizzing. Not too much, bro. Can you look at that? She's just waiting for me to rizz her up. Look at this. Bro, she was waiting for me this whole entire time. Yeah, yeah, buddy. So we just killed the sugar mama, and now we got a bunch of mastery, as you guys can see. This is, like, easily one of the fastest way to mastery up, if you guys don't remember from me leveling up all those swords back in the day. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're still leveling up, guys. We're at mastery 151 from this sword. But as of right now, it is only V1. We haven't awakened it to V2 yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the abilities real quick just so you guys get a understanding before the transformation so the first thing we have is deadly rush let's go ahead and see what this does real quick as you can see it did like a little slash and dash animation then there's something called the triple slash a bunch of like slashes like that and it does a decent amount of damage recto is a max level person with his hockey on and it chunked them down a pretty decent amount if you guys need to go ahead and rewind the video to remember what it looks like before we transform Make sure to do that because they look pretty similar when they become V2, although the power difference is pretty big. But as you guys can see, according to the wiki, there is a version 2 that we still have to unlock, and that is pretty simple. All you have to do is earn at least 1 million bounty slash honor, then you must kill another player with around the same level or higher that has a million bounty as well, or of course more. And as you guys very well know, there is a player that's absolutely a higher level than me right now and has an absolutely way higher bounty than me right now as well. So all I have to do is clap his cheeks and then we should get version 2 unlocked. So Rexway, would you please be an awesome friend and present your cheeks to me? Bro, why would I give you like a free kill? Because I need to awaken this to V2. That's why you would give me a free kill. Fine, dude. Jesus. Get into the proper clapping formation. No, I'm not turning around. Bro, you have to. It's for the, it's for the sword, bro. It's for the saber. If you tell me what to do, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Ow! Ow! Ow, chill! So after a lot of convincing, Sugarway finally presented me his cheeks. And I'm just gonna go ahead and slay him real quick. Hey, yo, stop! I need to make sure you gotta get clapped, bro. So after we kill him, a message should pop up. Something weird has occurred to your saber over at the top of our screen in green. Also, something very interesting that you guys should know. With Saber V1 and Saber V2, they do not change the ability names. They stay the same. So as you can see, it still is Deadly Rush for the Z ability and the Triple Slash is still called the Triple Slash. They change the animations completely. They look completely different, but still similar at the same time. It's weird to explain. I'll just show you guys instead. But not only that, the damage output is also a lot higher. So let's go ahead and test the Z ability now that it's changed up. As you can see, it did way more damage. It just chunked him. And then we have the X ability, which does even more damage in his way bigger area. So he went down from half health with just two abilities. Keep that in mind, guys, that this sword we got from the first C. So a sword able to deal that much damage to a max level player with full body hockey on is quite impressive. That's why you guys hype up Saber so much, because it's a really good sword. And of course, one of the easiest swords to get, as long as you know how to do that quest line. But if you guys enjoy this video and want to see me clap Sugar Way's cheeks again, go ahead and leave a like and sub, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ow, bro, chill! The time has come, guys. In this video, we are going to be dressed up as one of Rectway's Discord kittens. Hey, yo, 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 way number. You're reminding me of someone. What? What are you talking about? I literally recorded a, vi a video a few days ago. And this is my friend's best friend's outfit. Well, duh. Where do you think I got this outfit from? You think I could make a girl look this good or something like that? I don't know how to design a girl outfit. So you're telling me you stole it from her? Maybe. God damn, bro. You're simping too hard. I'm out of here, bro. I thought maybe you'd spoil me more this way.
Dude, I'm not that down bad. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Save it for the judge. Okay, okay, but for real, on a real note, we are going to be getting the hollow scythe in this video, and it was a little tricky. Before I even recorded, I grinded a bunch of bones. Rectway is currently grinding bones by killing these guys over here and some more downstairs. You have to grind a bunch of bones, and you have to go over to a guy that's hidden over here known as the Death King. He's hidden in this, like, little tiny, like, chapel-looking thing. You go ahead and talk to him, and if you talk to him, he asks you, do you have any bones? You say yes, and he says how much you have, and you can only spin 10 times every 2 hours. So we're gonna go ahead and spin. I don't really need it, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. As you can see at the top of my screen, I got some money. But you could get some rare legendary items, such as this hollow essence. This hollow essence is so extremely hard to get, and it is very important, because you can't get the hollow scythe without it. You can't summon the soul reaper without this, so hope for the best luck and try to get the hollow essence from him. Since we have the hollow essence, we can actually go over here, put the hollow essence into this fire pit, and then it should be able to do something. It should summon the soul reaper. That's how we get this hollow scythe. But we don't get it guaranteed if we kill him. We're just kind of hoping we get it here. Rexway, let's destroy him and hope for the best. He's holding the hollow scythe. He looks scary and creepy. Let's go ahead and transform and clap him, Rexway. Well, ally me then. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I should definitely ally you before you accidentally clap me. I mean, the way that you're looking like, I'll definitely clap you. Okay, bro. I think I'm going to go switch to be a guy again. Okay, buddy. Believe it or not, the Soul Reaper is actually easier to kill when you have two people. He's he's actually really easy. Oh, but he's trying to clap my cheeks, bro. Why don't you go clap Rectway's cheeks? What did I do to you, Soul Reaper? Dude, who says I want him clapping my cheeks? I, want, I don't want this guy, like, near me. Well, too bad. You have to deal with him, bro. So he's pretty low here. We just got to hit him a few more times. And then we should hopefully get it there's a very low chance we get it it's like a 2.5 percent and if you have the game pass it is five percent did we get it oh my gosh we did we got the hollow scythe the holy crown a bunch of titles levels masteries and everything we could possibly dream of so if we go to our items we should have the solo height as a mythical sword as you guys can see, this thing looks crazy. And yeah, this thing's a monster. We have to get it to Mastery 350 to unlock all of its abilities, though. From what I understand, this is an S-tier sword, guys. But I also have something to confess. I am extremely lucky, so don't be butthurt if you guys don't get this the first time. But since I am this lucky, I kind of want to go roll a fruit now. I want to test my luck there. So with that being said, Sugar Way, take me to the mansion, my guy. Bro, I'm not a simp, dude, but fine. I'll take it to, like, the freaky mansion. Do you guys see? If you guys become women, you guys can get Rekway to do anything for you. Bro, shut your mouth. That's... Is that why you teleported me to the mansion while I roll this nice, juicy fruit? And I actually got a decent fruit, a rubber fruit. Here, Rexway, for showing you my appreciation of being my Uber driver, you can have my rubber fruit. Oh my god, dude, I do not want this wiggly fruit. Too bad, bro, enjoy it. But since we have the hollow scythe now, I think we should get into the theme and get a little bit more festive. Don't you agree, Rexway? Mmm, I think we should get more festive, bro. Oh my gosh, bro, you make me regret my decisions. So before we actually even go level this sword up, I am clearly not max level, but I just wanted to show you guys how much damage this sword can easily do with a low level and a low mastery. So let's go ahead and hit our sugar way here. Let's go ahead and unally. Oh, he already did. All right, let's go ahead and smack him a few times. And would you look at that? Four slashes did half his health. Wrecked way is max level, max everything. Keep that in mind, guys. We have a level one sword that's doing all this. But with that being said, let's go ahead and kill the cake queen. We need to go ahead and get her cake and some masteries. You know, Wrecked way, our favorite training sessions, right? I'm going to train with her every single night, bro. Okay, bro. So she is extremely low now. We just got to finish her off and see how much mastery we get for the hollow scythe. Hopefully, if she doesn't kill me. And there we go. We got a bunch of mastery. I'm actually curious at what number we stop at. And yeah, we're still going, guys. Oh my gosh. So after all that chaos and mastering, we got up to mastery 159 just by killing the cake queen once, which means we've unlocked the death cyclone ability. So, Sugarway, I kind of want to test this death cyclone on you. Take us back to the front of mansion. That's where we test things, you know? That's the, that's the nice area. What do you mean this is a nice area? What do you mean? It's nice and peaceful. We got mushrooms everywhere. We got trees. Like, what are you talking about? I think once you turn around, that's a good view. Okay, bro. Get out of here. Your punishment for being sus is getting death cyclone. Are you ready for your punishment, Rexway? Dude, I'm not being sus. You're just making this up. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Here's your death cyclone. Wait, what? Okay, that didn't count. Let's try this again. Oh my gosh, 3.4k damage just by one ability that has super fast cooldown. If I hit Rectway a few times, 
And then hit him with the Death Cyclone. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I think I might have almost killed him. Yeah, that is a lot of damage, especially since I'm not max level. So, Sugar Way, how do you feel knowing that a girl has a bigger Hollow Scythe than you, huh? Bro, your Hollow Scythe is not as big as mine. What are you talking about? It's way bigger. All right, transform. What? Oh, oh you want to see? Look at it. Look, that's way bigger. How about you talk to me instead, bro? Mine's is 10 times bigger than you. Okay, let's uh, pretend we never saw anything. Put that thing away, bro. But instead of unlocking the second ability on my alt account, I'm thinking about going back to my main account. I have the Hollow Scythe pretty high level, and I know you guys just want to see the abilities and damage, right? So now that I am back to my true form, Rectway, are you ready to get your cheeks clapped by the second ability known as Soul Execution? Bro, that thing is booty cheeks. What do you mean? Oh, I'll show you booty cheeks. Go ahead and stand over there, test dummy. For insulting me, Rectway, and my mom, 20. 4 7 you have been sentenced to soul execution here you go rectway stop bro wait that was a little weak i'm not gonna lie i don't have any stat points into sword so let's go ahead and redo that come back here rectway i'm not done soul executing you bro here take this stop hurting me oh my gosh 3.4k damage is pretty crazy i didn't even hit you with a death cyclone yet the death cyclone does 4.1k with two abilities, he is down to half health. That is insane numbers. I feel like the damage isn't as strong as I want it to be. For such a cool looking weapon known as the Hollow Scythe, I feel like it needs to be super overpowered. So there's only one thing left to do. And that is going to the port. Going over here and talking to this blacksmith who is able to upgrade our swords and guns. So let's go ahead and see what we need. 800 bones and some scrap metal in order to get 10% bonus damage. So let's go ahead and get that stuff. But a fruit also spawned, I noticed, while I was talking to the blacksmith. And somebody's trying to steal it over here. Oh, it's right over here on the sand. What kind of fruit is that? Wait a second. Is that sand fruit on the sand? Nah, bruh. Here, buddy. You can have the sand fruit. I don't want it. But we're getting off topic. Let's just go ahead and fast forward to where we get all the materials and upgrade the damage. And then I'm going to destroy Rectway's cheeks entirely. Don't you guys love the power of editing? We went ahead and grinded a bunch of resources. So now we could actually talk to the blacksmith here. And he's going to go ahead and let us upgrade our hollow scythe and get some bonus damage. So now we upgraded weapon to grade one. That being said, if we go ahead and look at our items now, we should have a star right here on the hollow scythe. Now the scythe is going to be stupid overpowered. And I'm gonna show you guys because I'm gonna 1v1 Rectway and clap his cheeks for the end of this video. All right, Rectway, are you ready? Three, two, one. I wish you the best of luck, bro. Bro, you really use hey. that on me already? Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's about you. Oh, yeah, bro. Good luck with all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, yes. no damage. How nice, bro. Come here. You're really using leopard? Yeah, I'm using leopard. Come on. I'm not even using the transformation. Bro, get your stupid furry stuff out of here, bro. How did you counter that? I'm just better, bro. I don't know what else to tell you. Look at that. Look at that damage. Bro, come here. I dare you to come next to me ever again. All right, bro. I'm rushing you with this power. All right, bro. That's it. You're done now. I got you. I want you. Why are you standing still? Bro, why are you hurting me? I'm not even touching you, bro. Calm down. Oh, so you think this is a joke, huh? Bro, I'm not even fighting you back. I just wanted to kiss you. I mean, what? You wanted to do what with me? I just gave you like a free kill. Yeah, yeah, whatever, bozo. I'll also give you something for free too, number. What else are you going to give me for free, bro? Okay, no, nah, I don't want you bending over. All right, bye. If you guys are wondering why I am standing right in front of Indra's castle, it's because I finally did it, guys. If you are new to this channel or returning, you may have not known, but I dropped a video hunting for a dark dagger for 24 hours in Bloxford. After grinding off camera, I suddenly got it while killing Indra. And I couldn't believe my eyes. I got the drop and now I have it in my inventory. The dark dagger. And this thing looks so sick. It looks so cool. When you're not having it equipped, it actually just sits right here on your chest as a cross form. And when you pull it out, you have a tiny little dark dagger. But speaking of tiny little dark daggers, let's go say hello to our friend that has had one for a while now. Oh, Rectway, where are you? I know you're around here. Oh, there you are. Dude, I finally know exactly how you feel to have a tiny little dark dark dagger oh and yours is glowing hold on if i press on my hockey oh mine glows too this looks pretty sick nah dude my dark dagger is 10 times bigger bro bro, bro i literally just saw your dark dagger it's extremely tiny it's literally 
Wait, what? Huh? How did you make your dark dagger grow? Your mom. Okay, buddy. I'm gonna kill you with my dark dagger if you keep this up. Dude, your mom just made it grow 10 times larger. Shut up. Okay, enough with the jokes. You're gonna help me grind my dark dagger with me, okay? Bro, I'm not gonna be grinding on your tiny little dark dagger. Oh my gosh, that is not what I meant. Come over here. You're making me go crazy. We're gonna go to the mansion and I'm gonna roll you a fruit because I feel bad for you. You're always helping me out, so I'm gonna help you out. All right, Rectway, you better hope for something good. Actually, don't hope for something good. You always give me some bad luck somehow. And, uh, it's bad luck either way, Sugar Way. You got a chop fruit. Dude, I don't want this crap. You can have it instead. So before we start leveling up this little dark dagger, I want to test out its damage and powers and what it could do at Mastery 1. So I have Milky Way right behind me. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the basic slashes on him and see how much damage it does. Okay? So that was the four slash combo and just from four slashes it got him down to nearly half health keep in mind chicken way has shark v4 and he also is max level with full body hockey so that's very impressive damage and what i did also notice is that it had a little dash built into it like that that's pretty cool but rex wait how did getting hit with my dark dagger feel bro i didn't even feel anything oh wow is that supposed to be a small joke about my dark dagger your thing is already small look at it hey it's trying its best be nice to it bozo do you think our good old friend longmo would like it to taste of this yeah i'm sure you can level up your tiny little dark dagger by a long mom maybe it can give it like a leg okay bro man it's been such a long time since i saw our good old friend longma don't you mean ligma huh? ligma what do you mean by ligma like my okay that's enough shenanigans rectway it's time to kill ligma let's go ahead and do our trick here and see how much damage we can deal to him and how fast it will work surprisingly enough the dark dagger is melting him like crazy he can't handle this little dark deck i mean this big dark dagger would you look at that we're getting a bunch of mastery and it's still going it looks like i'm hacking but we maxed out at mastery 140 we unlocked the first ability called proficient impale at 150 so we need to go ahead and go to the next boss milky way go ahead and take us to the k queen why what do you mean why i gotta go level up this dark dagger on her nah let me just go level up myself with her instead bro uh, nah you're just jealous i'm gonna go hit her with my dark dagger you why your dark dagger i mean my dark blade my big giant dark blade nah 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 dude you already said it too late you have a small one. No, wow, wow. All right, K Queen, time to get collapsed. Rexway, I know you're getting jealous, but just contain your anger for just a little bit longer. Why would I be jealous of your tiny little dark dagger, bro? I'm pretty sure she likes my cursed little katanas more than you. Nah, bro. As much as I like to believe that, I don't think that's true. Maybe I'm going crazy, but we're just melting bosses way faster than normal. And I'm pretty sure it's because of this dark dagger. I think doing that 24 hour grind was pretty much worth it. I'm not gonna lie. And we haven't even unlocked the abilities yet. There we go. So now with all this, we got new skill available. Rectway, take us back to the mansion so I could test this on you. Although we are still missing the X ability, we can go ahead and test the Z ability. So let's go ahead and test this on Milky Way and see what this does. So I'm gonna hold down Z. Oh, it twinkled. That's pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of the Crystal Katana. I'm in like a weird position. Let's go ahead and release it on Rectway. And whoa, it sends him flying and dashing through the ground. That's pretty cool. I wonder what happens when you tap it. Oh, it sends him flying in the air. Okay, so it has like two in one. That's pretty cool. It definitely reminds me of the Crystal Katanas and even God Human when you hold the C ability. But while clapping Shigoe's cheeks with his dark dagger, I noticed pirates were raiding the castle on the sea. So let's go over there, get some mastery, and possibly get a fruit. There's a bunch of guys over here. So if we kill them, we can get some mastery from them and level up our dark dagger a little bit more. Because we need to unlock that next ability. And we can get a fruit while we're at it. So why not? So we killed all the pirates. We got the reward. Let's go ahead and see what we got and you have to be kidding me this is only my luck rexway it's all yours bro i don't want this no i don't want that hot pile of garbage okay killing those pirates barely got us any mastery we went from 183 to 187 so that's not much we gotta go say hello to our good old friend ligma once again he gives the most mastery so rexway take me back to the floating turtle dude i hate being your uber driver this is like the most annoying job ever yeah yeah buddy that's why you're here all the time you love being my uber driver Driver. No, I don't. You hold me hostage every single time. Oh, yeah, you're right. Anyways, let's go ahead and kill Ligma. Just one more hit, Ligma. There we go. And we are mastering up like crazy. We went from 187 to 207. To be honest, nobody wants to watch me farm mastery levels nonstop. So we're gonna skip the boring part until we get to mastery 300. And bam, we finally hit mastery 302 with the dark dagger. So now that we have it leveled up, we can finally use the shaming slash ability. And I have just the perfect target. Rectway just looking over there, all lost. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with the X ability and see what this does. Let me just stand right in front of him so he can see me, and I'm gonna do it. 
Whoa, what the heck was that? Hold on. Did I just like skip frames and magically teleport? Hold on. That was really cool. I have to see that again. I couldn't even tell what happened. Let me try that one more time. Oh, he's moving around. Okay, let him just chill for a second. There we go. And oh my gosh, you could do some crazy combos with this. I can see some potential for sure. But I'm curious. The X ability looked like it had a decent amount of range. Can this X ability go really far? Let's find out. So Rectway is actually pretty far now. If I go ahead and hit him with an X ability, Oh, no way. This thing has some crazy range. Guys, I think grinding for nearly 24 hours was absolutely worth it because we ended up getting this dark dagger at the end. Wrecked way. I think we should do a 1v1. I want to show you how overpowered my dark dagger is. Your dark dagger is very weak, bro. Not even. Oh, oh. Oh, is that looking pretty weak, bro? <laughs> You're getting that combo. is pretty weak. Bro, you almost got one shot by a combo. That does not look weak to me. Nah, don't worry, bro. I got like the god bomb with me. Bro, your god bomb's not gonna do anything. I think we need to settle this in our 1v1. All right, let's do it. All right, all right. But I gotta switch fruits. I don't wanna be a Buddha user right now. I kinda wanna do something that's gonna stun lock you and combo you. So let's look in the shop. And oh, opening the shop actually showed me the perfect fruit to use for this. You're gonna get stuck and comboed so hard. All right. Milky Way, we gotta settle this. Three, two, one, fight. Bro, are you using- Oh my gosh, you're using the bomb fruit? Are you kidding right now? What's wrong with the bomb fruit? Are you insulting me and my dark dagger? Exactly, I am. I don't think you're ready for this, bro. Ready for what? Oh, I know exactly what that ability does. Bro, stop! Ow! Okay, that's it. I've had enough of this, Milky Way. All I gotta do is just teleport to you. Get you stunned for another second or so. You literally got stuck right here. This is perfect. Wait, I missed? Nah, bro. Exactly. Why are you so bad at the game, bro? What? How am I taking hits? Nah. Oh, I wonder why. Because you put landmines down, bozo. That's why. No, I would never. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Okay, okay. Oh, you got stuck there. This is perfect. Wait, I missed. I choked. Wait, where are you? Bro, how do I suck this bad? Did you just notice that you suck more? Because I know that your mom does. Okay, that's it. You are so done now, Bozo. Get out of the air. Look at this. Now you're just dead. You got yourself stun locked now. You set yourself up for failure, Bozo. Oh, did I? Yeah, you did. Come here. Come here. I just got to land this right on you. Why can't I land this on you? What's your issue? Look, you just keep getting stunned right now. I'm trying to smack you with this, but you won't let me. There we go. Just you like so you're not smacking me with nothing, bozo. Oh my gosh. All right, you're done here. I couldn't get a perfect combo, but you're still gonna die. I don't care. What? How did you just die? <laughs> I don't even know, honestly. I randomly died in midair. What? Rectway, did you just realize what you did? You're taking damage because you're holding self-destruct using the bomb fruit. You give yourself damage too, bozo. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh my gosh. You literally got yourself killed. Well, I guess that just proves how good the dark dagger is. Well, that didn't even count. No, no, no. It definitely counts. You literally died. What do you want me to do about that? <laughs> that was me using self-destruct. That killed my own self. Okay, you know what? What that sounds like it sounds like a skill issue so me and my dark dagger will be taking our good skills somewhere else yeah what type of skills would that tiny little dark dagger do huh i don't know ask your mom later